up today and you see Netflix, you see all these things, because you know why? Today is this very special day. He said it earlier, y'all wasn't there because y'all wasn't invited. He said, it's his day. It's day day. It's our day. What it good be, Obies? What it should be? This is your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this is Military Crazy World. Happy hour, drink champs, happy hour. Make, Make some noise! <laughs> now, when you speak about this person that we, we, we're introducing, we talk about, oh shit, we didn't even have the champagne there. We still we be so excited we to just, start. We, we just went in. Yeah. This is royalty. When I say royalty, this is real, real royalty. The man owns a hotel. Father's a legend. Super, super legend. legend. Super no, legend. I feel you like can't just say one you legend. You can't just say legend. You gotta say <laughs> legend icon. Man, that is historic. What's crazy about it, dropping a movie on Valentine's Day. And today. And today is Bob fucking Molly's birthday. Wow. <laughs> We got a legend. In case event. you don't know who we talking about, we talking about the one, the only, Rohan Molly! <laughs> First off, I got to have a drink to, to Bob Molly. You, you know, um, you, you know what's the crazy thing is? A lot of us felt like Bob Molly was our father. <laughs> so I, it's like you shared him with the, the world because... Like, there's no place on earth I can't go and a Bob Marley record won't play. No place. And let me tell you something. Let me, I, I've tested it. I live by nothing but white people. I tested it myself. <laughs> you can play that music at a disrespectful level. You can play it all the way up. There's not one person that's going to say turn it down. No. Nah. Not one. I've tried it <laughs> numerous times with the cool white people, with the people who look racist, with the people who might not be, but they they are they used to be around. And I put on any. You've been with me. You've been with me and, and with his dreads. And he he brought his dreads. And they don't get offended. You said he brought his dreads. And he brought his dreads. That's right. Yes. I, did, you, did you ever realize how much of a global music he, he was making? You know, um, to your point, still growing up, right? Mm -hmm. I had to come to terms with what you just said, you right. know what I mean? Being that, you know, our father is not just my father, right, you know, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. So one at a time I had to really like be like, wow, you know. And it, it was a point in life where there was an instance that kind of kind of put us in our place. Right. And it was one day most of the times at, at Hope Road in Jamaica at my dad's place. Right. Um, everyone come check him, you know, like right. if you need any type of help, you right. know, youth from the street. Right. This particular day, though, these guys. In Jamaica, you say? Yeah. Okay, okay. In Hope Road. Mm -hmm. um, Bob Marley Museum, what it's called today. Right. But these youths, right, growing up, they were street boys, but mm -hmm. they are also acrobats. Right. So during the week, wow. they'll come to Hope Road and they do all kind of flips and wow. ting and ting and you know. And the rest of the week they shoot you. No, no. <laughs> I mean, no, no. On the hustle, they okay. wash the windscreen. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They, okay. yeah they, no, they, they're good boys. <laughs> okay. So one Sunday now, mm -hmm. my brother and I, Stephen, uh -huh. we're in Hope Road, and you know, uh -huh. this is a Sunday, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? right. And they showed up at the gate. Right. Right. <laughs> so we kind of walked down to the gate and kind of told them, I said, we said, um, listen, today it's it's our day. Right. You know, you can't right. Right. <laughs> take your right. take your asses home. Right. 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 <laughs> we like, didn't say that, but right. <laughs> so but our dad, mm -hmm. he was kind of watching us from upstairs. Right. So he called us, Stephen, Rohan, come upstairs. All right. We go upstairs now. 
He said, um, you see those boys outside? Let them inside. And these are the street guys? Yeah. Okay. And at the time, there was a guy, like, on Sundays, the ice cream man come around, uh -huh. and he ride a little fudge, fudge, he ride a little bike, you right. know, with the fudge on the back, the ice cream on the back. He said, you see the boys? Go downstairs, buy them all ice cream, mm. and watch them eat ice cream. Wow. So, you know, as youth, and you know, my father is kind of, is, you know, when he talk, he talks strong. Right. So you're, you're kind of shaking. Right. So, but what we realize is that our father really was trying to teach us a lesson that it wasn't just about, you know, his children on the inside. It's about the children that don't have mm -hmm. more, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it, right then and there, we learned the, the principles about, you know, when you have, you have to share. Right. And that was and a part of it. And, and yeah, right. and, that's, and that's kind of was his role to those youths. Right. It wasn't even about us. Right. It's about, like you said, right. how those youths saw my father in regards to what right. he do for them right. as youth, just growing up, you know? Right. So it was, we were kind of in the way. Right. They didn't come to see us. <laughs> okay, right, right. Well, um, I'll, let me bounce around a little bit, yeah. right? Because when you look at all these biopsy uh, movies, these these pictures, yeah. and one of the people that say, uh, the, one of the most, most accurate and most on point one is the Straight Outta Compton one. Right. And everyone is saying that's because, you know, Ice Cube and um, people were there to, were to, alive, to, to, right. to, to somewhat guide them to what to talk about. Is this something that you had to do with this movie? Like, cause you know, the family as a whole. This, this movie, right? Um, our brother Ziggy, big brother Ziggy. Uh -huh. he's, it's been in the works for five years. Oh, wow. He's, you know, he's also the one that was mainly behind um, Marley's documentary. I, I just like, watched that. Yeah, oh, he, um, who shot he, the sheriff? No, not that oh, one. Not the that one, one that Marley's called. Okay. That one okay. is, um, we don't know who did that one, but it's out there. But as far as family, right. you know, and then this one now, finally, <laughs> when Ziggy, you know, did all the research, find the right people, that the cast and all the things that he needed for the film, Right. Got the money he needed to make the film happen. Right. You know, he did that. Wow. And most importantly, the relationship that we have with not only the cast members, but the main actor, the actress, the producers, and some of the directors, it was just very, very much an intimate film, mm -hmm. you know, and very personable because um, we're able to kind of um, talk to Kingsley mm -hmm. about, you know, some of our dad's ways and right. and like attitude His mannerism mannerism right. and Kingsley himself he's so um point on as an actor you know what I mean he, he makes that's an actor playing as a, okay. just as a yeah because it's craft you right. know, it's, it's, that's his craft right. but to be able to tap in and and reach that level well it's truly impressive bro right. and we love that and this film as you said it's really a family certified family made all right you know, Ziggy, Sedella, Mama Rita, the entire family, myself and Steven, right. you know, we're, we're, we're always there in support, all the brothers, sisters. Right. So it's really a family and, and thing, right. as well as my dad's friends. Right. The, the sons of the musicians are playing right. their dads. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. really? Oh, no, yeah, I didn't yeah, know that. And a lot of, um, yeah, so a lot of cast is Jamaica. My, and then again, the amount of people that were able to like, get a job in Jamaica because of the movie yeah because of the movie wow. was another good thing we're proud wow. of that so we're he's proud still of working this. from heaven he's still working from heaven <laughs> all day god. long all yeah day. god damn Yo, so um that's one of the things that um me <laughs> knowing that I was gonna interview you I was yeah. went and searched like a lot of your father's concerts Seen. and one thing that that you can tell everybody claimed Bob Marley White people, <laughs> black people, like everyone felt they, a piece of him. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, um, the main thing is, is about the truth, you know? And a man like our father, this man lived for that purpose, right. you know? Right. And when you are you are a musician, bro, yes, you yes, know, you you, yeah. you know the thing. You, yeah. you music in general, and you know what music is, it's a vehicle. Right. And we choose to deliver the message, how we choose to deliver it, right. and we choose to say what we want to say. Right. We sit through Rastafari now and what that means to our father and 
us as Rastafari people, us as a people in general, right. Right. human beings, you know, right. and right. the ones that really want to represent that human being movement right. is like that, like soul to soul movement. Mm-hmm. That's kind of our father, and that's what he really stands up for. He's a man of his word. Right. Like what he says, what he does, you know, right. and right. still does it, you know, and, right. and, and that's the important thing. Right. So I feel like, say, that truth within that message. Right. Is that connection to a people that seek a certain way of life, wants this type of liberty, you know? Because mm-hmm. there's a passion within the liberty, mm-hmm. you know? And the, mo- and the most important thing is the truth that we utter, you know? Mm. So when you find people that stick to them thing there, it kind of resonates to everyone. Right. And that's why we say one love. Right. You know? Yeah, because that became more than music, it transcended the music, it became a global movement. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's a God movement. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, it's, it's funny that you said that. I was watching a documentary, and I kid you not, <laughs> I'm not being funny. I thought I was looking at G- Jesus, man. I literally was looking at Bob like, this is what I think Jesus looked like. See, and with Rastafari, you know, that's really the way of life and right. it's a, and why we why we resonate like that and why we have this um consonance and and this presence is because of the old testament right. and as rastafari people we try to follow the nazarite vow mm-hmm. the way of the nazarene and Jesus christ himself is a nazarite right mm-hmm. so we we try our, our our daily life as much as we can we're not perfect you know right. but our daily life is to follow that order Right. And it's a Nazarite, it's a Nazarite vow. Right. You know, where you wear your locks, you wear your, you know, the right. rays on your face, certain right. things, what you eat and yeah. this. So like it's my friend Rasta, he's, 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 Rasta. he's a, <laughs> we catch him with shrimp every now and then. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just laying, I'm just laying. It's <laughs> the same thing they say. Like, yo, <laughs> but, those, <laughs> but those are the things you go through as youth growing mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. You're not supposed to eat that. Right. You know, right. that's right. the kind of, um, mm-hmm. so you, you, as Rastafari people, as Jamaicans in general, mm. we make fun of what you eat. You know, mm-hmm. you're a Rasta, you're not supposed yeah. to eat that. Rasta don't do this, <laughs> right. Rasta don't do that. Right. And then you have to, and then again, with the Marley name with that, right. plus Rastafari, Ooh. it's double. That, yeah, that must <laughs> I mean, crazy. You, you, never, you must have never had a glizzy before in your life, right? What's, what's a, 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 gl- a, a, a Frank. What's that, bro? He can't even hear that word. That's a right. What's a yeah, glizzy? Never had a Frank, right? A hot dog? Oh, I, I can't say that. I can't say that. <laughs> No, no. Nah, hold up. But based on, on what you're saying about like mm. it's double for you, yeah. mm. did it ever feel like a burden? The legacy that that was like put Ooh. upon you and your and, and your siblings. I would never say a burden because it's, it's really the. I would never say a burden. Right. Because it's really the way of the truth, you know, mm-hmm. and is is really discipline. Mm-hmm. And just want to keep your father's ways. Right. So it's really an alignment and proud of it because, you know, we all, you know, read the Bible, we all do these things. So if you can find a way of life that's alignment towards that mm. and as a culture, is a lifestyle which is such, we're proud of that, you know. So it's never a burden. It's a lesson and it's a way of life. And it's the way we choose to live and the way we want to live because we feel good about it, you know? So it's a goodness. And it's, it's like the way of the lion, you know? Right, right, right. It's like a king order. Right, right. <laughs> you know? Real self. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Now, I, I was watching, um, uh, going back to the documentary, at one point, Bob moved to, to London. And to this day, to this day, it's a lot of Rastafarians and Jamaican people in London. Is that when they when they first started going there? When Bob went there? No, they had the colony. No, oh, no, yeah, no, I no, 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 no. Yeah. Right. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> you remember like World War II? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of Jamaicans fought in World War II oh, wow. with the British mm-hmm. because I've, you know, Bruce mm-hmm. said it's um it's a uh, you know it's once underneath the British the rule, Commonwealth. you know, Commonwealth, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. Jamaicans travel there because at one point before late 60s, 
early 70s, Jamaicans didn't need a visa to go to London. They didn't? Right. right. Oh, wow. So a lot of work and such and such. So a lot of four parents are in London. You, knew, you know, it was a regular thing for Jam Jamaican families to receive things from England, mm. like in uh, before like drain, America. Drain, our friend Drain, he's from London. Yeah. He's, Jama he's Jamaican. He's Jamaican. Yeah, a lot of that. That's why, yeah. that's why Jamaica culture in London is like really close. Yeah. yeah. That, you know, even a slang. Right. So it was, and then again, music mm -hmm. in general, you know? Mm -hmm. So, my, but my father went there uh, with like intention to make music um, like uh, really an exile because of the assassination attempt. The Exodus album, right? He made? Yeah, the okay. Exodus, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, okay. you know, you know, remember, you know, you, you are very well studied. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I'll, I'll prepare, I'll prepare. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't let me mess it up. <laughs> no, 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 I got you, I got you. Pa pardon, pardon. Yes, right. This, I don't normally drink, yeah. but we're, we're... Well, well we're praising you today. Our show is about giving people their flowers. Chance. We want to give you your flowers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to give you your flowers, my brother. Here, right there. Snoop Dogg said oh, it's like God. a grand. Yeah, oh, you know what I'm saying? God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so on on to to drink champs. Yeah, to drink champs. So, on this, so, on, this bless, on this blessed day. That's right. Our Father's Day. That's right. Rastafari Day. Our day. People's yeah, Day. That's right. A drink champs day. A drink champs. We're giving thanks to the Most High, Imperial Majesty, yes. Emperor Ila I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it. Rastafari. <laughs> so we're gonna take the drink back. Yeah. <laughs> um. Mhm. Mm I remember. Pa pardon, part, yeah. pardon the drinking. Yes. So, hold up. <laughs> so I remember, you know, rappers, right? Seeing having we having a love hate relationship with our with our city, and we. I remember me thinking that that that's something that was new, but I, I, I remember seeing just now uh, on an interview where Bob was just done with Jamaica at one point. He was like, man. Right. I ain't, I ain't messing with Jamaica. And it was like, Jeez. damn, Bob went through the shit that I'm going through then? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, wow. And, and, and that's when he went to London and that's when he started yeah, with the South Africa. Well, imagine this, right? Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like, I watched, like, for instance, the movie, and I'm just going to refer to this movie because something just happened to me mm -hmm. in London. Uh, where was I? Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for the premiere. And I'm watching that exact reference that you just made in t being told in the movie, you know? And it made me very emotional because of what my father said and what he represents, you know? It made me truly emotional mm -hmm. because here is the man where his gates are open to everyone, everyone. He came from nothing, you know? And everything that he ever created or stood for represent a people. Pardon me. And here's this man that's helping so much people. And the same people that you're helping, mm. the same people that you're fighting to uplift and, and bring together, allow themselves to be manipulated mm -hmm. by a systematic way, by politics, to feel that it's right to try and take a man's life, right. you know? So that's really... The, the emotion of that. So when my father said, I'm done with Jamaica, right. it's, it was in the moment. Right, yeah, I, I never know. done with Jamaica. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but you know what I mean, though? I know, yeah. In the moment, so it's like, it kind of it kind of screw, you know, it's, it, it rule for that. Right. And, you know, so you take a little journey, I'm gonna sing some love songs. Right. <laughs> like, it's right. like, you know, this revolution right. might be a one man thing. Right, right. <laughs> you, you, you know what's ill about that is when you look at, the political history in Jamaica, it's like almost, it's almost like Bloods and Crips. They it's politics. Straight up. In a lot of the, a lot of the rest up. of the world. And, and like, even here. Like, straight up. Like, um, like I seen you, you seen um, Randy Acker from Def Jam Jamaica. Seen, seen, seen. I did a video with Lexus and Wayne Wonder in Tivoli Gardens. The most scared I've ever been in my life. The most scared I've ever been. Yeah. Like literally, this was... What, what, do they, what do y'all call it? Badman Town. Yeah, the garrison. <laughs> like, the when garrison. I tell you, everybody had a gun on them. The I'm garrison, you not. And I was like, and they told me, they said, man, you're safe. 
But I was like, it just yeah, didn't yeah, feel you're safe. Good. <laughs> it's yeah, just, you're good. Yeah, you're good still because it's nothing, nothing with you. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. Them man, remember, Jamaican people are people of principle. Right. When they're being rude, they're rude with principles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I go lie. They told bad me that. Bad boy against bad boy kind they, of they, thing. They you told know? me that off top. As soon as I landed in Jamaica, this lady, she came right over to me and she, she jumped over my whole foot with the shopping cart. <laughs> and then she looked at me like, what y'all want, Yankee boy? Yeah. <laughs> I said, you got it. <laughs> I said, I'm in Jamaica, I gotta realize where the fuck yeah. I'm at. Hell yeah. Even even the, even yeah. The, 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 space space and time. Gangster. And then, you know what else I seen? I know I'm all over the place. I seen a Chinese Jamaican. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know. And boy, was he, I, he was offended. And I was I was like, you better, you don't talk like that. <laughs> you nah, know what I'm saying? No, what the most Jamaican. No, 300 years. <laughs> 300 China years. China been in Jamaica. 300 years. Whoa. As well as the Indian, yeah. you know, Indian people. So we have... Fourth, five, fifth generation Chinese, and you know, wow. so a lot of my friends, you know, they look like you and I. Right. They look like you, yeah. you know what I mean? And last name Wong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout, shout out Waggy T out here. Yeah, Waggy yeah. T. Oh, yeah, I bought yeah, my yeah. first turnout off another uh, Chinese Jamaican out in the south. Yeah, oh, yeah. most Jamaican. Yeah. Uh, most of the Jamaican restaurants are, are Chinese records. Jamaicans. And VP records. Um, yeah. Chinese yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Big in the culture. Yeah. yeah. Super huge. Yeah. Super okay. huge. They drink this little a bone is real. <laughs> That's real. It's not the way. It's not the way we drink it. It's not real. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got you got this hotel. Mm -hmm. Like I, th I believe you're the only person I know that owns a hotel. You you flossed on me one night. He's like, hey man, I got you know I got this hotel in Mexico. You know you can come you know, by anytime you want. <laughs> I, said, I said, holy! Sh I was like, that was so, that was some yeah. shit to me. You know, he's an you entrepreneur. Yes. Um, he's an entrepreneur world, and mm -hmm. everything you do in life, uh, um, I believe in opportunities. You know. Mm -hmm. And everyone always say, how come we don't have one in Jamaica? Right. I said, well, no one in Jamaica offered me an opportunity. Right, right. Oh, wow. Right. You know, so I, I took the opportunity, and it started long ago with the same Marley Coffee relationship. And it's the same partner as a five hotel group. Okay, They wow. were building a hotel, and they wanted me to be a part of it. Wow. And, you know, I, I, take, I took a look at the place. And I was Mexico? Like, what part of Mexico? Uh, right outside of Cancun, a place called oh, Cancun. Puerto Morelos. Okay, okay. Between Cancun and Plata. Del Carmen. Okay. So like, man, man, I'll say 45 minutes from Tulum. Okay, cool. Okay. And 20 minutes from the airport. Oh, wow. As you land in Cancun, right. it's right there. Nice beach, protected area. The, right. the reef is protected. The mangroves are protected. Nice little fishing village. Mm. Ni and, and 92 rooms. Mm. And, you know, That's so like it's a boutique. boutique yeah, yeah. Very, bo right. very so. Very right, right, that's dope. It's a great opportunity. It opened in um, 2020. Okay. It was a scare oh, with, right. the, with all the things that were Pandemic. happening. Yeah, okay. uh, absolutely. Right. But it survived, and um, with the help of a lot of my friends and I and I, mm -hmm. that supporting one each other, made, you know, spread the message and it got out there more. And you know, people seem to like going down there in Mexico. Right. Yeah, and I like it too. I absolutely love it. Right. <laughs> right. Let's make some noise for you guys. Hey. Yeah, big up to Romali Beach House. <laughs> yeah, that's the name of, name yeah, of it, Romali Ro Beach, Beach House. Well, it's really the fives. Okay. And Romali Beach House. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's a collaboration type of effort. Okay. Yeah, collaborative. And had, had you been going to Mexico um, like before, before, before that? that? Yeah. Um, not really. Okay. Not. Okay. It wasn't my thing. But I met these. I met these brothers in um, New York City in like early 2016. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I was really focused on Marley Coffee and I was trying mm -hmm. to build some coffee shops. So the brethren, um, you know, hey, we're building a hotel. Mm -hmm. Would you like to put one of your coffee shops in our hotel? Right. So I took the opportunity again. I said, yeah, I'd love that. <laughs> Let me mm -hmm. go see the spot. Oh, just to put the coffee in the hotel? Yeah, at, first. at okay. first. Okay. So they did that. And then they said, you know, we're building this hotel. We're, we're going to open up a new project. We're building a new hotel mm -hmm. on the beach in Puerto Morelos. It's really a little, you know, it's a smaller hotel. Would you like to, you know, we don't know what to call it. What do you want? What do you thought of? Wow. What do you think about calling it Romali Beach House? Wow. And we came up with that name because, you know. It was on the beach. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Near the beach. <laughs> it's on the beach. Right. It's the it's the Caribbean. Right, right, right. <laughs> the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So we love it down there and, and it's really nice because when you think about Mexico and them place, you have to think about Africa and Afro-Mexico because yeah. from the early times of the Olmex. And then I learned a lot too, because I learned that. When I found myself in Mexico, I started to realize that, wow, 
we're all a part of the Amerindian mm -hmm. culture from the early times because mm -hmm. that's the Americas. So it's a part of the Caribbean. So then I go again and you look at Barbados. It's right there. Mm -hmm. And that's everything. It's part of the whole... I'm a Ridian, you know, th this right. this part of the world, you know what I mean? Right. So it's just really extending the culture and realizing that earth is a lot and its fullness thereof. So wherever we are, wherever we Wherever we go, it is home. Mm -hmm. So, and we felt very good there, and we feel at home in Mexico okay. as well, like anywhere else. That's what's up. Yeah, man, That's love it. Up. Love Mexico. Big up, big up to Mexico. Big up Mexico. <laughs> so, so when I when I research, like you know, um, the the stuff that I know about Rastafarian culture, yeah. it brings you to Heli Selassie, which brings you to Ethiopia, right? right yeah. Which brings you right. to to Africa, right? Yeah. What is the correlation? And we know all men come from Africa, right? But why is it, is is it like Jamaica and Africa's relationship like so 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 is is it because of the Haile Selassie? Well, it started with Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey, that's right. Yeah, that's right. right. And then you know those early times in general as cultural people right. and. The, the the history of Jamaica with like all of the Maroons, the early Maroons who fought against the British for their independence and never got conquered by the Brits. Right. So we were always like a rebellious people, you know? So right. during the time when Marcus Garvey, early, um, I said before the 1930s, when Marcus Garvey was hailing and building his movement in Harlem and throughout the world and studying in England and traveling the earth, Marcus Garvey learned about the crowning of the Emperor Haile Selassie I, which would take place in 1930. Mm. So Marcus Garvey, being Jamaican now, returned to the Jam Jamaica and told the black people of Jamaica that we, black people in the Western Hemisphere, should look towards the East for the crowning of a black king, our King, our Christ, and our God Almighty. So it says in Revelation that you'll be crowned King of Kings, Lords of Lords, conquering land of the tribe of Judah, elect of God Himself. So when Marcus Garvey said that to I and I now, as black people in the Western Hemisphere, there's another brethren whose name is Howell, who really started the Rastafari movement, Howell, uh, Leonard Howell. Don't, uh, don't quote me on the exact. Name. Get your Google on, hats. Okay. Yeah, you can find his name <laughs> yeah. on the Google. <laughs> but then the movement started. Mm -hmm. And then we as black people in the Western Hemisphere started to look towards Ethiopia, the crowning of the king, as our God. And we started to follow that the ways of Ethiopia because we knew that now that being Ethiopia is the first place to really follow Jesus Christ in 4 AD when the eunuch met Philip and told Queen Candace about this great man this great man that he met and blah 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 and such and such who was Philip who was a follower of Christ and then he started Christianity that time then you know so we as Rastafari people we look to Ethiopia and that's the Orthodox Church which is the faith of Rastafari if you ever asked about that so that's when it really started in 1930 the crowning of the King of Kings and everyone knows this in the world right. because every nation was there that day and everyone had to kneel and bow to that emperor who you know, was last? Yes, who is the 225th lineage of King David, right. seed of Jesse. Right. And those 225 kings are the kings that rule the earth. So when we talk about earth, we have to talk about the olden days and the biblical ways. So we we follow the the King David's throne. Mm. We didn't follow Babylon's throne, which was always trying to fight against King, King David's throne, right. if you know what I mean. Right. Like, you know, the, all the Constantinopoles, right. all, wow. <laughs> all the Roman wow. Empire, <laughs> wow. all these guys. That never stopped. You know, so, <laughs> so we as Rastafari people, we represent the King David throne, mm -hmm. and that is Haile Selassie throne, and that's how we come to say Haile Selassie is who we call His Imperial Majesty, is who we call the, the Almighty God Himself in the living flesh. So that's how we we're able to like manifest our flesh this way by that teaching of this great man who manifests the God within Himself at the highest order. So. We believe upon that and we live upon that and those are where we get our teachings and those are the teachings we follow. So other people have other teachings that they follow 
And sometimes you stumble, like your teaching make you, make you stumble. Mm -hmm. This one keeps us more upright. <laughs> right. And it happened while he was still alive, right? Who? Selassie. I. Wasn't he still alive when, 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 when people started to follow him in Jamaica? His Majesty is forever living. Right. And, and absolutely so. But His Majesty is forever living, you know? Yeah. Right. Yes, I. <laughs> I, think they, they, I think they did a study and they said that his blood is actually related to Jesus Christ. Yes, well, they said man. the Ark but of the Co Covenant is in but Ethiopia. But that's what I was that's, uh, saying. That's the, the claim as well. Of, yeah. That's why I mentioned to you the right. lineage of King David. And then within that lineage, there's 225 kings. And you have Abraham, Moses, and you have Jesus Christ himself. Yes. I like how you say yes, you have, Christ. I like how you say that. <laughs> you have Solomon, you have right. David, right. and his majesty is a part of that lineage. Right. And that's why I talked about King David's throne. Right. And that same is Christ in his kingly character, right? And Christ in the flesh. So all the Christ, all the Christ consciousness, the great kings of this earth who took on the Christ consciousness, who are the heads of this government, who have who have the shoulders of the Almighty God, and they rule this government with the God law, you know, mm -hmm. the ancient Abrahamic mm -hmm. law. You know, that's the law. You, you know what I believe? Yes, sir. I, I don't, look, like, don't look at me like that, Kareem. <laughs> I believe, like, in years to come, <clears throat> they would talk about Tupac the same way. They would talk about, like, because when you look at, when you look at, let me just stick with Bob. When you look at the history of how he, he did, this, this was all righteous. This was, like, you know, when you go look at all these interviews and you go look at these, uh, um, Everything that he, he said something one time. He said, they love you so much, they'll kill you. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Because love and hate is kind of almost the same thing. Yeah. But he said, some, he said, sometimes they can love you so much that they'll kill you. Mm -hmm. And I, didn't, I, I couldn't distinguish if he said yeah. they'll kill you, like meaning himself, or just that love itself. Mm -hmm. Like, this is all biblical Factual. And you know, you said something so important right. because man himself, right? Like we, we talk about man, mm -hmm. we're flesh, but man have like an ideology, right? right? And some men have good ideology and good dreams that we tap into a certain frequency. And you talk about like Tupac, you know? Right. But we're not talking about Tupac that you see walking on the street. We're talking about the Tupac that you see speaking mm -hmm. a thing, a saying, a, mm -hmm. a saying or something. And that's what each of us have mm -hmm. as beings in general, right? Mm -hmm. Because we have that goodness that we're made from. Because we are made from love, and mm -hmm. you have you have to make love to produce. That's right, goddamn you, you, you got a lot of them out there. <laughs> you yeah, thanks to love. You DMX for real out here, baby. Yeah, we know we know you out here shooting up the club. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, mm -hmm. we love that, and it's it's all what the ones have to say that we try to like gravitate towards. You know, mm -hmm. the man himself, and we mm -hmm. find the good in each other. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, man, they're going to talk about great ones that have had great things to say yeah. and who always wanted to uplift people. Right. So that's the real purpose, you know, right. with the upliftment of people, you know. And, if, and when you're speaking that, yeah, not all the time, you know, some of the times you kind of, but the, the, we're going to focus on the good side of you. Right. You know, and that's what we all need to start doing now right. is start focusing on people, goodness. Right. You know what I mean? Right. People like too much downfall. Right. I leave it up for less now. Do, do, do you think... Do you think the CIA was really like, <laughs> like tapping into Jamaica like that? Because, like, when you see years later, right? You see Malcolm X, and then years later, there's actually studies that come out that show well, CIA set Malcolm X up. Right. And this rumor has never been confirmed. Well, can I ask you a question? Yeah, okay, yes. Yeah. Oh, um, me, I'm a, um, you know, I, 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 I'm the type of person where. I watch UFO. Uh -huh. I'm into alien. <laughs> That's who you are. That's what you about to say. <laughs> I mean, you can't even call it conspiracy more. They talk uh, about it in I government. Know, I've been watching UFO since like the early 1990s. You did. Right. So anyway, when we talk about Jamaica in general, right? Right. And we talk about trade and waterways and entrance to certain system, right? Mm -hmm. The stream, the, the stream of like from how you have to travel into like the money pool, right? You know, coming from Africa down the stream mm -hmm. and blah blah blah, and certain places that you have to hang out, right? Mm -hmm. So Jamaica is like the little, little small island is right in that little. You yeah. gotta pass that place to get That's into right. the wealth, right. right? The trade, it's the gate, it's right. the gateway, yeah, right? Yeah, right? So. 
What happened in Jamaica now? In the early times when the British Empire was, had a larger influence mm -hmm. before this independence thing, you know, it was, you know, Jamaica was like a place where you, you really, it was not too much violence. It wasn't? No. Oh, wow. Very, in the 60s, Jamaica was so peaceful and lovely. So, when now the, the whole communist movement began, mm -hmm. you know, that thing, and then the start now with the, the politicians when the independence came now and these two parties started to mingle. Mm -hmm. One was like, they would call him a socialist, mm -hmm. which was manly, and the other one was like... Uh, That's the prime minister, right? Yeah, okay. the two of them, the yeah. same one that my dad Michael Manly and... Uh, Edward Siaga. Yeah, yeah. So he was more like... They called him Siaga. C-I-A, Aga. That's right. Holy, you know, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, yes, you, know. You know them. Yeah, yes. So one, though, would say was like leaning towards like Cuba-ish, right? Yeah. The Cuba They vibe. wanted Jamaica to be new Cu the new Cuba. Like, well... Even the prime not, minister of Jamaica met with um, yeah, Castro. Yeah, 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 they wanted to be in the orbit, right? There was a lot of support there. And then the other person now, so what happened was when now the, the, the gun trade began for the, desta the destabilization. Yeah, they even had a gun court. Yeah, because uh -huh. now it started flood the place with guns and cocaine. <laughs> but destabilization because they got to destabilize the country because of what's happening. Because these people are worried about these people having this control because now you're messing with the horn, mm. right? You're messing with the, the money run, mm. right? So if the, if the Jamaicans become more this way, then you're tapping into the Russia people again where they're tapping into this thing and then these people are, are starting to take too much control of this little hump right here. So that couldn't they happen. Even said the KGB was in, in, in so Jamaica. Oh, yeah, that. that's the Russian side. Yeah, so, yeah, of course. So all that, that's, the, that's the, you know, the mafia of KGB, so all right? That, no, the KGB all is that, the CIA of that's Russia. What I mean. Yeah. And that's all that, I mean. that de destabilization is when the violence began right. in the early 70s, late, 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 late 60s now. What was the two parties, JLP? PNP and JLP. JLP. Jamaica Labor Right Party and the People's National Party. Oh. One color is orange and the other one is green. I grew up in a time where I play, live in a place called Spanish Town and I'll never forget this. This one I know, like... Ain't I, a Spanish person in sight. <laughs> in Spanish town in All <laughs> us <laughs> So but let me tell you something mm -hmm. This one I kind of knew Like my heart Like my, I, I kind of knew I was like a good person <laughs> mm -hmm. I just knew I, was, I knew I was a good human being mm -hmm. I think I was like 10 years old And I remember It's like It was like um, polit po Political times Like very Strong politics Right so these people, tourists, they were driving along this main road mm. to get to like Montego Bay. Mm. And if you did not put up the sign of which party you represented, the people, they stone stones at your car. Ooh. I remember watching it, right? Because that area was a labor right area and I live in the midst of everything and I remember watching this and I remember seeing the bridge and them throwing the stones right. and I remember to my heart, I'm like, but those people don't know nothing. Right. Like in my, these, these it's, it's my little self. Oh. I'm like, wow. So that's when I realized these people don't have no brain. Oh. They don't have, they, 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 they don't know. Right. This is, what is this? Right. It don't make no sense. Right. You know? So that's what happened. And that's what destabilized the country's guns and foolishness of politics. Because even when Marcus Garvey in the early times, when Marcus Garvey was running for prime minister of Jamaica, what they said caused him not to be the prime minister. They went and offered the Jamaican people free rice and peas. So, <laughs> no, people love them belly. <laughs> I never heard this one. <laughs> well, really? Yeah. That's crazy. Free rice and peas. So, I, it was offering, it's a oh, big yeah. thing in Jamaica. You know, it's a Sunday. The, Sunday Popeye dinner. Sandwiches. Every Jamaican, every Jamaican eat rice and peas on Sunday. Right. It's rice and peas and chicken, <laughs> rice and peas and this, right. rice and peas and that. Right. So it's a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I've never it. been stuck before. <laughs> like, by the way, who has the best rice and peas? Puerto Ricans? Jamaicans? <laughs> hey, man. You Dominicans? No, no, you have rice. Hey, no, no, hold on. You have rice and beans. That's true. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Good point. Good point. Did not realize that. Who still got the best? 
You know, when I go to Puerto Rico, mm. I eat rice and beans, man. Rice and you know, beans. You know, and okay. when, I'm in, when I'm in Jamaica, I eat rice and peas, man. Rice and peas. <laughs> so I never had them side by side. You never had them side by side. <laughs> yeah, that's carved up. You carved the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Now I'm thinking about it. But listen, Haiti is not in the category. No. Haitian food is amazing. I love Haitian food. Haitian food is amazing. No, no. No, but I've been. Best cuisine, bro, bro. No, I've been seeing, because I've been no, seeing no, on no, Instagram. No, no. Haitian food is Haitian, great. Haiti been trying to throw they, they, they hat in the room. With the rice and peas, but no, I, they got I, great rice. I, no, I'm not can, gonna lie. Can I tell you something about Haiti? Okay. Let me tell you something about Haiti. Haiti, my shit. Haiti now, Haiti. You see, we be there's a the see cuisine wise. Mm. You see, because well, not because of, but the mixture with the French. The French yeah, which is big, they're big on cuisine. <laughs> over yeah, there, you right. see what I'm saying? But there's no I, there's no Haitian vegan food. Uh, not it's too many Haitian don't eat too nah, much. They, 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 they grill. They grill. They grill. They grill. They grill. You don't like grill. Look at you. You don't like grill. My, <laughs> my first boy is Nico, and my first daughter Eden. Mm-hmm. They're Haitian. They're yeah. Haitian. Nico born in Petronville. Yeah. yeah oh, so, I've, been, yeah. I've been to Petronville. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite place to, 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 to visit on, on your spare time? Like, for what? F- for anything. Like, I have different things I think about. Okay. For so vacation. For vacation. Vacation. Okay. Well, you know what I love the most? I love the ocean, you know? Mm. So I like going places where, for vacation, you said. Okay, not, yeah. not, Vac- not, yeah. not like not sabbaticals. Yeah. yeah. Not, you're not. Right, just to relax, not, not, relax and hang out. Not use sabbatical. the big word. I didn't even want to ask <laughs> not for that word. Sabbatical is like you going to you going you going to go in the church. Stuff, okay, 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 okay. The, 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 okay. The, meditate and stuff okay. like that. Good stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, like, let me see. I, like, for instance, I love going to Romali Beach House. Of course, of I course. love that. Of course. I've, um, this year, I had a chance to visit Barbados. Barbados was Rihanna out there. Man, Rihadis is like she wasn't there when you felt her. <laughs> when you felt her presence, right? I feel like I, I, I feel like, posting it I, feel like, like I, feel like I believe Colin, even though I'm not supposed to believe him. I just believe whatever she, the fuck he promotes. No, she, <laughs> like, no, I, no, he I, I want to go to see Rihanna too. He tells you the too. truth. Yeah, 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 I believe him. <laughs> he I tells the truth. Yes, I believe Colin, bro. No, but for sure, mm-hmm. Rihadis, right? Like I was there, yeah. I was into the Rihadis vibe because yeah. she put the place like um from um. Tourism perspective, right? It's you know people want to visit and because mm. they want to see where she live because mm-hmm. it's very nice and the people love her so much. Yeah. So I love I love I just first time going there for like um like some business thing like okay. a fin they call it fintech like financial technology okay. some summit good good stuff. Okay. So that that was out there a bunch of Caribbean people from Latin America as well and they just mm. got out of uh, the British. Right? Yep, yep, yep. The right. prime minister wanted. Is a prime minister now? President. Right, they broke away from yeah. uh, oh, yeah. the Commonwealth. They're, They're now independent. Republic. Yeah. They're independent. Everybody well, can't go independent now. No, but it's... it's Some a- of these guys got to stick with their major labels. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, man. No, no. no not there. No, Everybody can't no, go. I'm not going to get away with that. No. <laughs> Everybody can't go. No. I'm telling you, man. Listen, Haiti's still 50-50 with it. No. I'm telling you. They're not 50-50. No, they Haiti. were the first ones to break That's away. That's what I'm saying. They, yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 they're still yeah. like, we don't, we don't know. We should, the only we reason why they, they suffered is because they, they were the first ones. ones. We don't know if we should have did you, that. That's you know, what I mean. You know that. Yeah. And, yeah. and oh, Haiti, Haiti is holding a, a lot of money. Yeah. yeah I'm going to be honest. Puerto Rico, scratch our heads sometimes. We'll be like, I don't, we don't know why we still on this major label. <laughs> 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 I killed that. Y'all understand? Because <laughs> Puerto Rico, we definitely major label. Hey man, let, let Cuba become free. We we coming. We coming, bro. Yeah, niggas on niggas Yo, you. Like, you got some Cuban. You, your your mother's Cuban, right? She was born in yeah, Cuba. You know, I got a lot of Cuban family. Mm-hmm. My, you know, my girlfriend Cuban. I, I noticed you ain't say Cuban rice and peas though. Like we don't say rice and peas. We say all peas. Whatever say, the fuck you want. You ain't no Cuba out there. You didn't know Cuba out there. Man, Cuban food is good. Yeah, Cuban food is good. I'm just saying. When I go to her house, when I go to her house, her family hook me up nice. <laughs> but you know what it is? Honestly, the Caribbean food is pretty much the same thing, bro. We right. just call it different names. Yes, we all yes, eat those yes, stones. Yes. We all eat plantain. We like we all but eat but the I, same I'll thing. Ma- Mama Rita is also Cuban. Mama yeah. Rita yeah, is Cuban. Yeah, but yeah, I'll yeah. tell you this. This is a big difference, though. Yeah. My son went to Cuba. Really? He went to Cuba? Yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, with your wife? Yes. Right, right, right. And he called me. He said. Where's the W, Dad? 
<laughs> there was no AC. He did not. Bro, he, it's not. There was no AC not, in, in his aunt's crib. Guy, we're talking I, about Cuba right now, I man. Couldn't, like, yeah, yeah, I couldn't explain to my son the A's. There's not cheers, W cheers. hotels everywhere, buddy. And he was, Especially not in a, in a socialist country, man. Yeah, he didn't Yo, know. He had to I, learn I, that day. I took a visit. I took a, <laughs> I took a visit to Cuba, day. right? But, mm-hmm. And we booked an Airbnb. Mm-hmm. But... <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where this is going. No, it's good. Okay, but the family, the family was there too. You you know? with, oh. I did the same thing. But it was an Airbnb. I stayed with the family. So yeah. one day I'm just chilling on you the ain't veranda. Me this part. Yeah, let's go. I'm chilling on the veranda. Uh-huh. You know? So I see the brethren pull up on a little bicycle, and he got the bread. <laughs> oh wow! So I'm like, what bread? What? I said, you know, you got. I said, what brethren doing? Mm-hmm. So no, you know they still do that where the, the, the partitioning of the food. The, yeah, they still do that where they drive around and they give you a certain a bag of food. Yeah. Oh man, I was like, wow, oh. man. So, but it was cool being in Cuba and being able to see that the people they're amazing. The people weren't amazing. living right. in. Yeah. It wasn't like that anymore. Right. Right. It was a balance. Right. So you can still have that, but they still do, you know what I mean? So it was very nice. But if you want to see, like, if you ever want to see some good culture, man, and some good, also some good architect, yes. go to Cuba. It, and Cuba that, is oh, really and it's a bubble, because you see also, that old school yeah, architecture. It also the, w- proves the point that Latinos are of African descent. Of Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. It proves that. Like, there, there's it no, proves but that. The culture that we but, have is all African descent. There's a place know, in, in Puerto Rico like that, Louisa. You ever been to Louisa? Louisa, I everyone, I, like, I'm light skinned. <laughs> I'm like, like, yeah, everyone is there. So it's, it's uh, you know, Cuba is, is definitely. Yo, um, you know yeah. something though? Mm-hmm. I'm one of those people where. How I, about Colombia? My bad. I've been, I've been there. You like Colombia? I don't like to talk about it too much. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> that, that man's way. Well, tell us so more! Your son said ask him about Colombia for some reason. Your son said that. I'm sorry. I looked at Diego's face and Colombia came up immediately. He, he, you sound like him. No. Yeah. No. He got love Colombia too much. No. No, I actually went there for stem cells. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Is that what they call it I now? Did. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm banned from going to Colombia. <laughs> not for no, not for nothing bad, just things that c- could possibly happen. Right, it happened. Things that <laughs> uh, leave keep yourself out of the way of trouble. Right. right. <laughs> okay. So I try to stay away from Colombia. Okay. <laughs> you went to Medellin. Medellin is beautiful. I no, love I mean, Medellin. But but when when I did visit. Uh-huh. While I was there, uh-huh. I did go to like the Corona um, Communal 13. The, oh. I, we, I went there, the, the Calera. Yeah, the, see, the, 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 the stairs. Stayed in Medellin. I, I yeah. um, visited, you know. You're the only two people I ever bragged about stairs. No, because. <laughs> Tell this, me what really happened in no, Colombia, no, goddammit. No, listen. <laughs> this is. No, this listen. don't sound right. No, this listen, don't sound listen. right. I'm talking about, about stairs. <laughs> it's out of here. I know what's going on in Colombia. No, but listen. <laughs> This one, we talk about. Can't go. This is the slums. Play, this is the slums. The, slum, the slums play, go up into play. the higher you go into the mountain and the hills is, is the is the more poorer it gets. Oh, word. Yeah. what they did in this neighborhood, this is of, of this this wow. neighborhood was violent as hell just not Trust too long me. ago. Okay, man. They put they put escalators Boom. so that they can have access to people in the slums down to the the main area to just do regular things. I've never seen and anything. it changed their lives. Isn't and then the graffiti's everywhere. Beautiful graffiti beautiful everywhere. Beautiful art. Wow. Art, colors. Yeah. I mean colors like. Like the buildings are beautiful. Everything is just beautiful there. Uh, yeah, does, all of it. You walk that, up and down the steps. All right, it's there. See it's, it's literally it's 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 yeah. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's escalators in the hood, bro. A lot it's just, of steps. It's, it's, it's a lot of walking. It's a lot, all but right. it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> all right. No, no, we're not going to where he's going. He's going to a tiki hut on the beach, getting a, a paisa. Listen, the other day Diego was like, he's like, hey man, my girl said I should go to Colombia. He said, I, I don't think we should. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you suggesting no? <laughs> you've, been, you've been through some bad things, man. Y'all, y'all going for different reasons. Yeah, don't say y'all. I have not been to Colombia <laughs> well, since Oyemikando. Damn, y'all. <laughs> 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 well, I have fun. 
<laughs> I, I didn't have the ego type of fun, but I had some fun. Oh man! And then, then, then life calmed down, and then life calmed down. Yeah, okay, oh, beautiful people there, man. Yeah. Getting back to up. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, please um, do, please do. I always. You know, um, like I said, I said it earlier, I always felt something attached to, 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 to your father. Is there, and there's people to this day, right? There's people who see me, who they see me on the internet. Yeah. They have never met me before in their life. Yeah, yeah. And they'll come straight up to me and be like, yo, Nori, and just start talking to me. And I realized this person is... Infatuated who whoever the fuck they see on the internet and they start talking. Like if they know you, they have that familiar. As if they know me. And then you gotta realize that this guy is psychotic. He does think he knows me. And he does. <laughs> he does because he's pointing out shit. He's like episode 16. You remember this? I mean, but that's, like, <laughs> it's kind of what we sign up for, though. We can't lie. Yes. That's kind of what we sign up How for. How many times are people coming up to you wanting to know stories about your father? Ah, I see. <laughs> no, no, really, really. Mm-hmm. You see something. You see because I, I um, I don't know because I, I kind of walk wide. Mm-hmm. Not, you know what I mean? It's kind of, mm-hmm. it's I don't know. It's like I'm, I saw like I'm all day like doing the same things all the time. So I don't even pay attention. You, know you ever I mean? seen that commercial, the most interesting guy on earth? Like your father was that guy. Man. Most interesting guy on earth. Without like, trying. He without, was just yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. It's facts. Shoosh. You know, it's been all my life. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's why I said I mean, about the I burden. Like, it's not, I, I didn't mean it in a, in a bad way. I'm just saying it's, it's, it's a big thing uh-huh. no, for you guys. But, but no, like what, what bro is saying in regards to like how many, I right. mean, you know how it is. Right. It's like now. Right. It's like, I, you know, I did this yesterday. Not, right. yeah, not right. like that, but it was another Bob thing yesterday. Yeah. And then yeah. right. when I was born, it was a Bob thing. You know what I mean? For right. It's always been a Bob thing. Yes, that's right. It's like whole, your whole life. So, you know, because especially how the man is. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then as as when being that he left Earth when we were nine years old, myself wow. and my, some of my brothers. Wow. Yeah, nine years old. Nine. And he was 36. Yeah, I, I said I was 10, but I was nine. Yeah, 36. Okay. Wow. Yeah, wow. 1981. I'm born in 72. Wow. So, yeah, when but when he left Earth when we were nine years old, we had to learn from other people too, you know, mm-hmm. and learn from his friends, some of his things and blase blase. So it became like a, a thing that we love to talk about mm-hmm. also because it's a remembrance. Mm-hmm. And so we like to tell the stories about our dad too. Mm-hmm. It's not, yeah, we love it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I, I can't even calculate it because it's like a fun thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, man, wow, man, you know something about our dad, <laughs> you know? Right, right. So if you know something, tell me, what you right, know? Right, when? Right, tell right, me. Right. So we it's, we're intrigued by that. Right, right. Yeah. Cause he's, he's he's truly he truly was a prophet. He truly was like of this <laughs> earth, yeah. but not of this earth. Like, but, but you see, go back to the Christ consciousness thing right. again, where you know, like we say, we like you know, it's the same thing. You say, yeah, we're fleshical people, but we have a higher consciousness where we try to seek a higher way of life, and that way of life is coming out of this whole ether system, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So our father was able to tap that And unbeknownst to us Not knowing the meditation that, that he's dealing with And the vibration that he's linked to We don't know, you know So, you know, the man they believe in Greater existence mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. believe that We all can unite, you know, right. truly right. Like that's like a true That's like a real, it's a real thing right. You know, it's not like, oh man, that's never gonna happen Yeah man, it can, it can happen yeah. You know, so he truly believed that and lived that, and he was just connected to the source, and that's the same thing as we, as human beings, our goal is try to find the source and connect to it. You know, so we just, and then that's how we get His Majesty again, mm. because we, as His children, we say, wait a minute, we got to find the root of that, and the root is Rastafari. Mm-hmm. So you know, yeah. so it's like a channeling. And how, because this great man is like, he's talking about Jesus Christ and yep. the great humans that just walked this earth. It's like, how we channel that? Mm-hmm. How we channel that energy? 
Mm-hmm. And it's just, and then because we know it's real, because right. our father we see tap into that even right. just by how he walk and that's right. the scent, just like growing up and it's the scent of him, you know, mm-hmm. like you know certain way and what he's connected to mm-hmm. in just the way and what he's you know in regards to like growing up living next to the priests mm-hmm. from the Ethiopian Orthodox Church because mm-hmm. His Majesty sent them to Jamaica and they lived in the same yard that my father lived in. My father gave them residency, mm-hmm. you know, so he took care of the church, mm-hmm. you know, so he really it was a man like that connected the, the Father self and the Holy One, you know. Yeah. It's a real man that desired that, you know. So, yeah. So like you say, you know, it's, re- it's real talk. But I, you know, I don't want to sound like, right. you know, <laughs> Charmin's son. I believe the same thing you're saying, bro. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> Trust it's, me. It's real. <laughs> Trust me. I remember I, like, having... I tap into that truth just right. like that. All right. Yeah. Because I remember having a conversation with Pun's son, right? Mm-hmm. And we're, we're shooting a terminology video. It's a terminology record. Me, Pun's son, and Term is on. And I remember me talking to Pun's son and me talking to him as if he was his father's friend and me not realizing that this is Pun's son and Pun didn't really did get to spend a lot of time with his sure, son. Sure. So I remember me immediately saying, I was talking and I was just like, holy shit. Because I'm talking to shit about his father and I'm like, hey, me and him did this. And I'm looking and I'm like, holy right. shit, he doesn't right. really know. So, right. you know what I mean? Like, is, is, is that something that you ever went through? Hmm. So, as a young boy, at nine years old in Jamaica, right? It's like you're 15 in America. Yeah, you're 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 18. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta double it. So we, so we have spot memory, like the times that we have with our father was, you know, the times, you know, and then, you know, you, and then it's like he lost in time actually. All right. Cause even recently I had a dream of my dad recently and I, I don't really dream him that much, vision him in my dream, you know. I think it's one of the first times I think, I'm not even sure, maybe two times in my life. Mm-hmm. Because you know how it is. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's not easy, you know. Right. So because we live it and we team within us, so you're like seeing yourself all the time. But like you say, it's it's really a it's like just a way of life, man, and really trying to make sense of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it's magic. Yeah. It's real magic. And to see it and being being around it, like, wow, all right. Because the man is like an excellent type of being, you know. He's a, my father type of person that you walk in this room and he just jump over this table. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. He's like, wow. he's like he drive like a superhero. <laughs> right, right. Like, so we see him like that. So when the, when, when the friends tell you the stories, mm-hmm. it's like he's the type of person... Like he walk in, he walk in the house and he see you, and the next minute he bring the boxing gloves. You know? Right, right, wow! <laughs> it's like circle up. Wow, <laughs> wow. So that's yeah. So well. yeah, he's, he's like an ever ever present. Mm-hmm. So we hear the stories because you know, as you as sons. You look up to your father and you want to emulate your father. So you try to find all the little things about him and mm-hmm. learn as much as you can. And then, you know, try to extend that. Because mm-hmm. at, at the end of the day, I'm 52 years old this year. My father passed away and I'm 36. But I still see him as like, wow, wow. what a big man. Right. <laughs> and when you, but he's my little brother today, you know. Right. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. But wow. I still look at him like, wow. You know, I still see him. Wise um, beyond I think his I, ears. I think I see him still as that little nine-year-old, I think. I don't know. Mm. Because I still, when I look, when I see a picture of my old, my father, I don't, I mean, obviously, I, 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 we live in the present. Right, of course. So we will, we, you know, mm-hmm. in your own mind, you kind of talk to yourself with how you would perceive a life with right. daddy today, you know? Right. But when I do see him, I don't see, like, I couldn't, like, I, I just see him as he is in these all the same pictures. Right. You know what I mean? I don't vision him no other way. Right. You know what I mean? Because um, I heard Jay-Z say that his kids didn't think he was cool. <laughs> right? <laughs> You could have never had that problem. You always had to know your your pops was the coolest person person on the planet. Um, let let I remember I'm young. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why I'm asking. So, um, 
it's like a lion and I see him like a because he's the type of person when he talk to you you cry like right. so I'm the type of person my dad is over there I'm over there right. you know right. so you 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 uh, It's like you see, I don't know. I, I see him like a superhero, like bigger right. than life. Like yeah, right. and when I'm seeing him, I, I'm I, the, the scent of him. Like you can't even. He's the type of man. Like I remember one day, he's in the studio session, uh -huh. and I'm there late at Hopewell because I'm you know I'm supposed to be home, but I end up staying over. Like. I'm late, <laughs> and he's like, "What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm still here, daddy. You know, right, right. <laughs> I'm just here." Right. So it's about, I don't know, maybe one o'clock or probably early, like 12 o'clock or something. Mm -hmm. So I go in the studio, and you know the studio of the glass here, yes. and he's on the board up there. Yeah. But you can't, you can't fall asleep. You can't fall asleep in the studio. You can't. <laughs> you can't. That's my rule, too. You Holy can't. shit. You mean I got that from Bob? Marley? What the fuck? I knew I was great. <laughs> I knew you I was great. Like, you can't, like, on, on some weak stuff. Like, you can't be there, like, bobbing and shit. You <laughs> That's so fucking fly. Holy shit. To me as a little boy now, I'm sitting You're in the tired. front. And I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm trying to kind of hide, mm -hmm. but he's seeing me through the glass. Mm -hmm. so, so he, says, he says, hey, boy, go upstairs. Right. So I go upstairs now, and I'm laying in my dad's bed. Because, right. you know, just, his, he got a, his, his bed is in the office, right. his studio, right. pressing plant. Everything is right there, you know, right. <laughs> his whole system. So I'm sleeping, you know. My father probably come upstairs like 5.30 a.m. Right. Hey, boy. Get up and go wash your feet. <laughs> At 5.30. At 5.30 a.m. Get your that's feet it. dirty. Hey, Let's make some get noise. Get your ass up. Get your ass. Get your, get your ass up. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah. So you see him like a, like when you, you it's like, oh no, uh, I can't believe him. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, um, yeah, man, you know, you see him like, you just, Whatever you're gonna do is like magic, right. and the stories you hear about him is like the, you know, is he do magical things. Mm -hmm. My uncle would tell you here in Miami because um, in 1976, when my family moved here in Miami, mm -hmm. but my my dad had a renegade, a jeep. My uncle would tell you, you know, sometimes he drive the jeep and he come into the yard. The jeep is like on one wheel. The way he fucking turn that shit. Mm. <laughs> like, he's, like, he's like, you can't believe the right. things. You can't believe the things that they tell you, man. The wow. stories. It's wow. like, it's crazy. Wow. It's like a real superhero. So yes. we see our father as a superhero. Yes. Like, and we try to. He, like, he is a superhero. Yeah. He so we, we like, just the way, like the smell, just the way he smell, you know? Yep. Things he eat, how he, you know, you don't want it. When you're young, you don't want none of that shit. Right. <laughs> like, you know, Beetroot, Irish moss, you know, a lot of ital food, no taste, wheat, wheat dumpling. Wow, well, he was super disciplined in that way. Yeah, man. Wow. But sometimes, you know, he's a, he, he, he'll take you to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. You got some KFC? Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. It's humanity showing at that point. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Just like Ron. Only yeah. on the winter time. Yeah. Uh, Sundays. <laughs> Now, I, I want, I, I want, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Yeah. I once made the mistake, right? Me, personally, of bike riding with a famous NFL football player named Warren Sapp. Now, I would go on these bike rides with Warren Sapp <laughs> two, three times a week. I realized he was crazy. I didn't realize how crazy he was. <laughs> One day he goes, fuck these bitch-ass rides we taking, Nori. Let's go to the South Beach. I don't take him serious. But I'm like, okay, cool. We go into Sunny Isles. I realized, oh, he's really going to South Beach. <laughs> I can't bitch out. <laughs> oh, you crossed the bridge. Oh, I'm, he's a maniac. <laughs> By the way, Warren Sapp is my friend, so I can say this. He has never left the game. He's still on the field. He was blocking for me. Go! Oh! <laughs> I'm feeling like I got a fucking football. <laughs> You're a running back. He's on like, the no, no. He's jumping in front of trucks. I swear to God. <laughs> swear to God, I'm not exaggerating. An Amazon truck pulled up on the side of us. And he went like this. He hit the Amazon truck. This shit shake. 
The two Amazon drivers come out. They're like, yo. And then they see us warm and sad. They're like, fuck that. <laughs> they turn the fuck around. I'm looking. <laughs> Warren. It's the man in the streets. I'm on the bike. I'm out of my league, EFN. I do not belong here. I do not belong. But I can't turn back That's now. A different kind of bike ride. I can't, and I don't got no charger because it's an electric bike and the electric's not working. <laughs> I got no charger. You got an electric bike? Yeah, man. Let me finish. That. No, listen. Just we're gonna do 900 miles. <laughs> the electric don't count. Right. So we going, we going, and he's like, "Hey, let's stop for a beer." What? A beer? <laughs> I like this bike ride. <laughs> that is electric. We, yeah. <laughs> we wind up in your house. Do you know that? Did you know that? We wind up in your house. I walk you in. Up in his crib. In his, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't remember that y'all went to school together. I didn't remember y'all. My best friend. Yes, I didn't remember that. <laughs> So I'm what, looking, UM? but by the way, yeah, if you didn't live it, I would have died. Oh I God. was out of everything. Like this guy's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's I'm, working. I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to know how to go through traffic. It's not my shit. I'm, tra- I'm trying to lose weight. You're I'm not over your head. I'm not trying to fucking go fucking <laughs> Apple Pro. He's at the Super Bowl. <laughs> he's fucking he's at the Super Bowl. He's trying to run fucking <laughs> bike marathon somewhere. He's training for. Why, why the fuck am I? So he's like, yo, let's go. I'm sweating like crazy. He's like, let's go to Rowan House. I'm like, yes. I'm trying to find your number. Yeah. He'd be like, yo, just find an excuse for us to stay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yo, thank you. I, I kid you not. Warren, mm-hmm. you listen, if you're not ready to work out with a Hall of Famer, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to give he's you this. He's incredible. Dude, don't do it. He's incredible. Because he's not going to let you stop. No, he's incredible. That and guy And then we went incredible. to your house. From your house, we drank beers. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, yeah, my, my battery's about to die. <laughs> I was using any excuse. I called my wife. Like, like <laughs> I was like, come and get me. <laughs> he was like a kid. <laughs> Bro, this shit was not funny. I'm laughing now. But I was like, I was like he was abusive, man. <laughs> I was like. Why are so I come, I come the next. I was, I came like that. I'm like, why are the electric bikes here? They <laughs> left the bikes. <laughs> yeah, then first off, we we went to Prime 112. We drank and then we went back. I was like, Warren, well, I'm not really built like this. <laughs> but you drank more at Prime One Twelve. Yes. I couldn't say no. Do you not understand? Like, this I just felt crazy. like exercise I felt, I felt like he was going to be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like you was in boot camp. <laughs> I was just like, like, yes, Warren, let's go. Oh let's go. I was out of line, but uh, Warren is a, is a crazy one. Oh my word. No, I seen no, him last night. Oh my god. Yeah. Seen him. You know what? I promise you, mm-hmm. Warren Sapp is probably one of the smartest human mm-hmm. beings. I have ever met in my life. This yes. guy is so intelligent. Like, yes. bio, biologically, geographically, yes. philosophically, um, no one knows football like this guy. Yes. No one. He taught yes. me about like American politics. Like, he taught me American history. He, he taught me so much about American culture here in America. Like, about when you first moved the, the all America. the time. Okay. No, we're, <laughs> like wow. all the time. Wow. Like his history is Because you play it, football too Yeah but his, his His knowledge man Is This man teaches me So much about American history Like just like He's so intelligent bro yeah. This is well read Yeah Well like This guy You you you, you can't quiz this You can't yeah. I'm In college I walked we, we were roommates That was dope I walked in the dorm told me we, that I walked into Well we didn't have a dorm We had an apartment Uh huh It's UM Okay But it's on campus That's right All Right That's Apartments Real okay. Miami shit it real uh, chilling. Uh, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's Coral Gables. Let's yeah, get it. It's, it's good. I managed it's to get a stripper we're, pole in there or something. I don't know. I was in my mind. Not, Just let no, me go with the Super Bowl. That time was the Rolex. <laughs> oh, the Rolex? Okay. The Rolex? It was on 79th Street. We went there. You know. <laughs> chill, chill. Let me just say this part. <laughs> So anyway, I walk in the, the dorm, I mean the apartment, I open the door and, and Sap is there watching Jeopardy. I'm like, 
You watch this shit? <laughs> this motherfucker is answering all the questions. I'm like, how do you know that shit? <laughs> yes. Intelligent motherfucker. <laughs> Pardon my French, yes. but super intelligent. And as well as a dominant like athlete. This man, you won't find him just sitting around. He's fishing all the time, riding a bicycle, diving. Yep. It's, it's crazy. He, he, by the way, he's diving, grabbing the fish underwater. <laughs> the, the fish with the fucking thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Shit, go like that. He's down there yeah. as far as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm supposed to keep it with you on my back? Oh, no, 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 I quit. That's what I'm going to quit. And you but know, I, in my mind, I quit. Yeah, man, I didn't want no more. <laughs> You're busy <laughs> right now. You're busy. <laughs> Big up to him, too. He does, he's now working with um, Coach Deion Sanders. Deion. Oh, hell yeah. Big up to that. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if you never rode in a bike lane, and you were slow in the bike lane, or you walked in the bike lane, Warren Sapp, is a, he come up on you like this. Get the fuck out of the bike lane! You like, oh! Yo, let me tell you something. The whole boardwalk moves out his way. Yeah. It's like they got a t- time that he knows, they know he come through. <laughs> you know, you Get know. Get out the bike lane. You know, you know why? <laughs> he knows the law. He know, he's actually correct. He's no, like, if you go in the he opposite like, way, he'll yell at you. He's he like, know, you're going the wrong way. He, he's but, like one of them type of guys where he's like strictly law abiding, like, mm-hmm. he's proper. Like, right. you can't be walking. In the bike lane, <laughs> like, yeah. this is, he's yeah. gonna let you know. <laughs> you got the right to be mad. You can't walk in the bike lane. Yeah. Did you see the sign? But that's yeah. the first time I met him. <laughs> we was at a restaurant, and he had a sign. I swear to God, in front of him that said. Don't feed the animals. <laughs> I don't know what that shit meant, but Man. I stayed clear away from that shit. I was like, "Hey, how you doing, Mars?" I was like, "I was scared to death." Don't bother him. He's, he's, like, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a he's a good guy, but he's a he's really like always himself, yep. proper, you know. But he's always himself. But you know what? Growing up, like how he grew up and thing, yeah. and all the things that people took advantage of, you know, some of his situation, mm-hmm. he became very defensive of his circle and who he lets into his space because, yeah. you know, when when you're just living your life and you end up in a situation, what do you mean? I mean, I thought we we're just hanging out. How come right. it led to that? Right. And then so them things, them turn them guys into more like like especially so big too. Right. Like he don't like you know he don't know who's who anymore. I thought so you not, was a my. Miami guy, he's a Miami guy. Like everything about Warren is Miami. Cut him, he bleeds green. Well, we do bleed orange. Or- I am also uh, orange yeah. and green. I, I want you to claim it yourself. I, 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 I also bleed yes. orange and green. Yes, 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 yes. So be careful. Because you play for Rough Riders, right? Not, not C- in the hurricane. CFL. In the CFL, like I played in Miami. I, I but not football. Not, not, not football. Uh, football. American Holy football. moly! Let me tell you about my. Let me tell you the times I played. Okay. So I, I played here at a high school, mm-hmm. Palmetto Senior High School. Mm-hmm. Big up to yeah, Palmetto. Big up to that's that's, local, that's not local, Big up to yeah, local. Yeah. Big up to Palmetto Senior Palmetto. High. Okay. It took um, one thing. Okay. Won our district district <laughs> champs as a linebacker. Uh-huh. I got a full scholarship to University of Miami. Wow! I was red shirted. My uh, my next year, as a fifth leading tackle on the team, I played outside linebacker. I was fifth leading tackle on the team. My he sophomore year. Him since um, the, um, yeah, what's, what's, what's this called? Well, right now is a perfect New fantasy time. league. What is it called? We talk about under that underdog fantasy. <laughs> underdog fantasy league. We Yo, need you download need. the app. Underdog that fantasy right app. now. Underdog fantasy league. Where's my phone? Yeah. <laughs> so, so wow. So yeah, I led the team in tackles. I was a defensive player, linebacker, and then the Rough Riders you're talking about. I went to the CFL because I was kind of ineligible to go to the NFL just because of my rude ways. So I got it. I became ineligible. I was like a little. I wasn't particularly like. Just do what you tell me, type oh, of guy. Right. So I got in trouble. It wasn't the ganja. Never that. Okay. It was more like how you talk to me. Mm. You see, it, you know what I mean. So then I fire. You know, what I mean, you can't talk to me certain ways. So it's, right. it's kind of like, oh, he's uncoachable. Not uncoachable. Right. You just can't talk to me like that. I'm right. a grown. You know, you right. can't, I mean, I just just lion thing. So right. it, it did. It did affect my ways. But my son Nico. He got a full ride to Tulane. He actually, he actually um, played the whole f- f- uh, preseasons for the Redskins. Wow. So at Congrats. Tulane, he's like the top 
leading tackler, top 20 in their history. Wow. Number one in tackles for loss. So he became a great linebacker. So he, wow. he superseded what I wanted to do. So my children are better than me, obviously. All right. All of them. All right. So I love that. But yes, I was a linebacker, and Ray Lewis was my middle linebacker. Warren Sapp was my D-line. Wow. So I played yeah. them years. So I taught Ray Lewis. What a team. Which I can say that. You, you can <laughs> And he was back it up. <laughs> but obviously, did you just say you taught Ray Lewis? Absolutely. Get out of here. That's how it works. Wow. If you, if you, if you, if 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 I walk in before you, right, and you walk in and see me sitting there, right. who are you learning from? Mm. But that's just how it is. Right. Because right. I'm the man when Ray walked up in that school. I'm the man, and I'm the best linebacker that ever played at University of Miami, Sir Ray. <laughs> No, we, we, it's it's a thing we have. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but obviously, Ray Lewis is the greatest right. linebacker right. ever played the game. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, but, but but in college, yeah, in college, we talking about college. We're not yeah. talking about the world. Yeah. <laughs> we're just talking about UM. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna put that up. Right. We're gonna put that up. Right. Mano y mano. Okay. <laughs> Do you? Do, what do you call soccer? I still call it soccer. Well, you know, depends where I am and depends on my mood. Depends well, I still call it soccer. Like yeah, you had it here. Depends on talking Some people to. get. You I, know, I stayed in a hotel in Italy one time. <laughs> and you said, and I said soccer. Europe, they, they was say like, football. what? Fucking American. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Like, they took it. By the way, the hotel, I don't know if anybody could Google this and, and send me the link. It was a soccer hotel. Yeah. Right. So everywhere you went, it was TVs playing soccer. I was freaked the fuck out. That's Europe. Yeah, yeah. we're late on it out here. <laughs> no, I'm talking about in the elevators. Yeah, it's like wherever it was a TV. It's a big game, big, probably a big game. Uh, but that, I grew up playing that. That's my sport. But you know what? So For, what you better at? Soccer or football? American? Ah, uh, well, um, you see, for me, you know, I never became what I wanted to become as an athlete. I'm a failure and as a I want to be a pro. I really want to be a pro at one of these things. Mm. I tried oh, either sports? Either yeah, one? I, I tried American football, but I wasn't disciplined enough. And then No track and field? You know what? When I you won't believe this. I actually in my high school I have the record for the four by one hundred relay. I'm a part of that team. So I had some speed. Ooh. I did the high jump. Mm. I, yeah, I did the high jump. That was my thing. So that's kind of my thing. So I, I played that. I did basketball. I played that. I, I <laughs> yeah, we don't believe you on a basketball tip at all. <laughs> the way you just threw that shot up. <laughs> nah, we don't believe you on that one. Anything else? <laughs> you can pass it. Anything you can't short. That's a left. That's a left. That's a left. Anything else? That left was not good. No, 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 no. We let you know. Part of the left, man. It's a left. <laughs> no, Everything else is cool. Let's stick with football, track and field, and, and football. <laughs> mm. So yeah, okay. but I'm, I wanted to be an athlete. You know, I, right. I failed at being an athlete. Right. I really did, and I remember the day when I realized that I couldn't be an athlete anymore. It wasn't. I had to give up on my dream because after college. I went to be a roadie with my brothers because I wanted to be amongst my brothers. So I was a roadie, you know. Right. I was like, you know, then I was trying to learn to be that. Then things happened and uh, some other things in life took place. Then I went to Jamaica and I tried out for the Jamaica national team. I wanted to be a soccer player. Mm -hmm. So I was working my way up through like the club. I made the Premier League, one of the teams. They're supposed to let you go through. because No, they don't do that. They don't no. do that. They don't they do hard. that. It must have been hard. Yeah, it must have been hard. First of all, they didn't even know who I am. <laughs> like, <laughs> you probably wanted it that way. No, but yeah. And then again, they look at me like, oh, oh, you play American football. You right. don't know nothing about this. So, mm. so obviously, I got to prove, a double prove. And then again, I am Bob's son. Then again, mm. I'm a little older than everyone else. Mm. Not, not, not everyone, but I'm a little older because I went to college. And mm. so I'm right. like right in like that prime age, you know? Mm. And it's a young youth thing. So I was trying, I, my dream was to play for Jamaica. Mm. I didn't make it to play for Jamaica. I tore my hamstring. Oof. Then I moved to Miami. Then I moved to Los Angeles, and that's when I got into business. And my brother, this is when I got into business. My brother Ziggy, he asked me a question one day. He says, you know, let me ask you something. What, what, what do you want to do, you know? Business or football? Because I thought that after I rehabilitated myself, I was going to move to LA 
and try out for LA Galaxy. <laughs> That's my dream. Wow. I was gonna, I was gonna find a way. Huh. I, was gonna, I met uh, one of the guys. I was. That's how I do things. I meet a guy in the coffee shop. Hey man, you put. Oh yeah, man. Hey, how I get a tryout? Can you? That's how I do it. It's not like some Marley thing. Right. You know, I gotta go. That's how I. That's how it works. Wow. As a, as an athlete, it's not singing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It ain't singing. Mm -hmm. So, but my brother asks me a question. He says, "Listen, let me ask you something." It's gonna cost you eight thousand dollars to do this collection you want because I was designing Tough Gun clothing at the time. So he said, uh, "Business or football?" Mm. I got to make a choice. So in my mind, I think I'm like thirty-one years old. So I started to think about like right then I had to make a decision. But what made me think even faster was like, "Listen, I'm fucking too old. These motherfuckers, they're gonna bench me." I'm going to be frustrated. There's going to be some young motherfucker there. <laughs> so I'm going to go through this frustration again, mm. and right, thinking I'm better than the guy playing. Mm. And I'm going to go through that all over again. Mm. I said, I can't, I said, I can't go through that again. Right. I'm like, I did that, you know? Right. Uh, I did, you know, that emotion. Mm. Sports is like that, man. So I had to choose business, and that's when I became an entrepreneur. Wow. Was the, I had that ultimatum right there from my brother Ziggy. Wow. And that's from, like, Tough Gun Clothing, starting Marley Coffee. Room on the beach house. I got my own cannabis company now, Lion Order. Wow. That, uh, you know, it's out of Michigan, Detroit there. So I'm doing that. So I'm doing a lot of things. And then for my family, I'm kind of like the brand ambassador, kind of business development for the family. We have House of Marley where we have the headphones and everything Marley family. I'm kind of like one of the guys in regards to the business side. Wow. So not so much music, but all of the like extended products like these art goods or whatever we have here. Some of these things. But these things are Lion Order, what you see me like to show off. Lion Order, that's your shit? That's my thing, Lion Order. Okay. That's the brand. Can that's we see the, the ring? Uh, right. Yeah, this is just the Black Lion, because the Black Lion is the king. That's right. So we just wear the Black Lion, you know? We also see that Audemars Perpetual, too. <laughs> we also see that, too, sir. <laughs> yes, that's nice. So we talk about Roots Luxury, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we like we like the time, and we like to tell the good time. Yeah. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. <laughs> I'm gonna give you your publishing. I'm gonna give you your publishing. You're gonna get all rights, all rights reserved. Okay, so you want to introduce Quick the game? Slime? Yes. Yeah. All right, we're gonna give you two choices. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna run down a list. Mm -hmm. You pick one. We don't drink. We're, this is a, a drinking game. All right. Okay. But if you say. Both. <laughs> if you don't pick one, basically we're drinking. All right, if I if I don't get one, I so I gotta be truthful, right? Yeah. If you yeah. say one, then nobody drink, and then you know we want to tell stories. Wait for one, all right, good. You can tell uh, anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah like ask you that choice. So this is what kind of game is it's this? It's called Quick Time with Slime, but it's never quick. Do I gotta be fast. You, no, 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 no. It's just it's, it, it's, it's it never trick. is fast. All right, it's ahead. never fast. Let's, let's try. Okay. It. So we're gonna start the first one. Tupac or DMX? Tupac. Okay. Just because of you know you know what. It's not fair to ask some of these questions to me because I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm always <laughs> uh -huh. I'm, a, uh -huh. I'm always about that like the older person's gonna get no. the upper hand mm. right so I I'm gonna you. go I'm gonna go Tupac for age preference okay not necessarily competitive in regards to uh, it's whatever who's the better yeah, lyrics your is criteria. who's yeah, the better your man criteria, it's it nothing is. to do with that okay it's strictly on age so Tupac. Mm. Okay. okay. Shaba ranks or Buju Bantan? There you go again. I don't know why again. I put the accent on it. These are the things. It just jumps out of me. I mean, Shaba is the elder statesman in that. It's, it's, that. These are truth. But in what capacity? Like, uh, see? It's, it's whatever it is for you. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is for it you. It could be a personal connection. It could be the music. It could be anything. Oh I, I, wow. Or you could say both. Oh, you could say both and we both. drink. Both. Okay, yeah. Both. We got to drink. I did we we drink. drink. Oh. <laughs> both. Drink both. This is, no, no, no. What the shot. The shot. Yeah, yeah. Shot, 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 shot. Salud, salud. I don't even do shots. Uh -huh. like, well, it's drink champs. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, I like this one. Nas. Nas or Jay-Z? Woo-hoo! Yeah. Your brother got the album with Nas. Let's not forget. Nah, Dad, I just waited. Well, you just gave me. Yeah, you, you, you can't do I'm it. I'm drunk. I, I fucked up. I'm drunk. Yeah, we... On drink champs, I'm drunk. I, I can't think straight. <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> nah, I'm the Jay Z. Nah, Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love this. You know, um, in life you have relationships. Yeah. <laughs> That's why people say both. <laughs> Sounds like we're taking another shot. 
Oh, this is the, this is not right. <laughs> Whoa. Positive. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. That shit, that shit, they will frighten you. Yeah. That fucking, the horn. Yeah. It's like taking mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like mushrooms. <laughs> Wait, this I is my drink champs or drunk champs? Yes, it's it. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, we're going to go with... Um, Nas or Jay-Z? Uh, Jay-Z. I'm going to go with Boat just for this. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're, we're, all right, we're going to go with Boat. Cheers. Yes. 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 All right, this one is a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like listen, this one. Listen, by the way, I just wanted to let you know, we don't do it. All right, well, we don't make up these what? questions. It's the you Colombian and the Dominican right you, over there. You know... They make up these questions. The Colombian right there and the Dominican right there. <laughs> what they do is they study you, you know, and then they let, make let these me, questions. Let me make something clear here. Okay. Because I'm, the, because I'm an entrepreneur, I just want to make this truly clear. Yeah. Very, let's be clear. You see me with my locks and everything on, so you, you know me, I'm, I'm a Rastafari. That's right. But be clear on this. I'm an entrepreneur. That's right. So I do a lot of taste testing. <laughs> I see where you go. Uh, I spent some time in Jamaica in the cane field. You know, they, they had rum. Rum. So I did a taste test. All right. So I'm gonna call this a taste testing. That's exactly what it is. Don't 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 think this is something regular I do. Yeah. This is a taste right. testing. Taste test. And what are we taste testing here? What is this we're this drinking? Is, this is we got some tequila. Got some right? That's what it's okay. Doing. All right. Well, I hope yeah. I'm gonna answer all these other questions. Because yeah. we're not on. The, it's my not for my health. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start picking answers here. Right, right, yeah. here, here no go. problem. <laughs> Ready? Yes. You got Super it? Cat or Sean Paul? Battle of light skin. All right, super cat. Right now, I'm I'm going like super cat. age. Okay. I'm like going age first. So, all right. Remember that. Okay. <laughs> you got it. I got it. Let me take this one because I got a record. I love these guys. So wait, so wait. If I drink, if if I say one, no one drinks. No, no drink. one drinks. Yeah, so wait. So wait. But y'all, wait. This is not fair. <laughs> Yo, listen, you're too small. No, but if you fuck up our game, if you say both, <laughs> if you say both or neither, we drink with yeah, we you. Drink with no, you. no, 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 no. Yeah. There has to be a time. Okay. That we drink. That we drink without. Yeah, we yeah. I like drinking. I do well, like that though. I do there like. There has to be. A, there yeah. has to be some scenario. Yes. Where you fellas, you drink grown even ass if you don't. man. Okay. Don't trick me. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. But let's just move on for now. <laughs> Bounty killer or beanie man. Let's did you guys that. watch Versus? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who did y'all choose? And we we chose we we chose to. I mean, get the police out of there when the police showed up. <laughs> we said, "Police, man, get out the yard." I think, I think Bounty right, wanted a, but Beanie wanted too. I'm gonna go both. Go both. Right, cool. They both won. Yeah, they yeah, both won. I can't remember hey, which order. Hey, Jamaica won. I don't know. They, oh, we Jamaica got both. won. You said both. He said both. Wait, wait, wait. You wait, said both. You said both. Twisting me up. <laughs> you're twisting me up. <laughs> hey, man. Fellas, you're, hey, you can drink some roots right here. This is what I'm drinking. Don't fall for it. Oh, this is... All right, fine. Let me, let me do this. I'm going to win. I'm going to win for real. Yes, solo, cheers, cheers, solo, cheers, 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 cheers. All right, hey, next one is... Okay. Yeah. Shatas or belly? Ooh. He's good. I know what he's doing. Well, that's easy. I'm gonna go shatters. Yeah, I knew he was gonna shatters. You're right, gone Allah. too far. You're gone too far now. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna say the same exact thing. You're gone, too, You're gone far. too far. Next one should be easy. London or Miami? Miami. Yeah. Yeah, that should have been easy. That yeah. should have been easier. Uh, come on, what do you mean? I, <laughs> it just came from London. And I'm here in Miami now. Yeah, big up so London. So what else would I say? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> and the police still don't got, got guns. London. Like in London? Yep. No, they got guns now. They do? They upgraded? I think they got guns now, bro. Oh, shit. I didn't see any police. Oh, because they got drill rap. They got drill rap out there. Drill, drill rap. rap? Yeah, they got oh drill rap. We got yeah. drill rap over here, too. Yeah, and our police got guns. <laughs> all right. Because yeah, next one. I can't see. This is yours. This is on you. Okay. This is on you. Oh, this is me. Uh, but uh, I think I think he might be. Okay, let's figure it out. <laughs> jerk chicken or curry chicken? He did say or jerk went, or curry. No, he said they went to KFC. 
So wait, let me see. How do I get y'all to drink now? Let me figure right. this out. No, I'm going to drink regardless. This one of them answers where... <laughs> it's got, <laughs> I'm going to drink. I got you. I, I, yeah, he's like, I'm going to get y'all to drink. <laughs> this one of them answers so, where I get y'all to drink. No, but but this, this is a very Curry good chicken question. Curry chicken or jerk chicken. Oh, yeah. All right, when I was young, because you don't have a jerk pan at your house, right? You don't have a jerk pan. So it's like... It's a pan that's just for jerk. It just stays... Yeah, this something. Just to make the jerk? It's tough. This is a, you know what? If you don't find the right guy, when this is when I'm young, because if you don't jerk the chicken a certain way, it hurts your belly. And we know what happens when you hurt your belly. Yeah. But because curry chicken now is something you get like for dinner at your house. So we're not for going with curry chicken. I didn't, yeah, I didn't expect Even that. though I don't eat chicken. Yeah. But when that's, that's a curry. I said curry when that's said curry. Right. Just because as a youth, I'm not talking now. Okay. Right. I'm not talking when I was young. I would eat curry because that's what I ate more. I ate a lot of curry chicken, man. That's what cooked for dinner. You know? I just got to ask you this. Have you ever ate, ever ate a coconuts out here um, in Hollandale? What was it? Miramar. Miramar. Because they got, they got vegan Oh, Jamaican coconuts oh, I yeah. thought you meant the, the, the fruit No, 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 no Coconuts the I'm just saying I want to find out is it, is my, It's my spot I want to find out Is it really authentic The Yad Man Kosani Hey, let me ask y'all something Y'all drinking water Or y'all taking shots? We, we take, we're drinking Because this shit But you drinking. never had coconuts? I'm, okay You never had vegan you know, coconuts? <laughs> I don't know I just feel like I've seen you there or something I don't, I don't know. know Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, okay. maybe, maybe Because the, the, the guy who owns the store Is a real yard Yeah, yeah, yeah Okay Good food? Great food Maybe I should Maybe Give me the address I, yeah, like, yeah, I like to yeah, explore yes, I love coconuts I haven't been there in a while I still order This is a, this, <laughs> this is an easy Alright, go for it One for you Reggae Or reggaeton <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my Cuban girl. <laughs> I mean, you don't put a Cuban. I got, I got Cuban girl. I got, I got, I got Cuban, Cuban girlfriend, man. Man, we got don't tell me go to reggaeton. Don't, don't tell me we go. got Cuba tone. Don't tell me. Uh, reggae, 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 okay, okay. reggae, reggae. It's all I, the I mean, base. It's the base for reggae all. based upon me. Okay, just me. All right, all right. in general. I respect that. Biggie or Big L. Biggie or who? Big, Big L. L. Big Big L. Who's Big L? We could move on then. <laughs> no, no, but fuck. Big L was <laughs> maybe I know Big from L. Harlem. Yeah. Uh, Children of the Corn down with camera on them originally. You know what? I'm not good at that. Okay. I'm not. We moving I, on. And, and, yeah, I'm gonna drink from that. I mean, I, I, I got I'm not good shot. at that one. I'm I'm in college, man. I'm like mm. I'm a football player, bro. Mm. I'm like I'm not even thinking about this stuff. Right. You know what we played when I was in college? Them boys from Texas, they used to play Ghetto Boys. Ghetto Boys. And the big album was um, when Drake, Chronic, Chronic yeah, album. Yeah, the first Chronic. And then when Snoop Dogg, that was like a, Doggy that's like, yeah, that was like an album. Like everyone was like, you, you got, I remember chasing, I remember driving to places just to get that album. So just so, because in my college, that was a culture. Ghetto Boys. Right. Dun, 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 Mine's playing tricks on me. Yeah, hey, you got the next three. Yeah, yeah go for it. <laughs> Capleton or Sizzler? What's this? <laughs> what kind of question is this? It's a trick question. <laughs> we, you know it's been trick it's, questions it's those times. It's a Capleton and Sizzler question. <laughs> it's a trick question. We're, we're, give my, give my uh, shot. Yeah, yeah, shot. Oh. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like... Shot to the shot. Like, All right, like, let's do it. Let's do it. Line up a mix. No mix problem. We doing... Bu- 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 <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go both. Yeah. <laughs> Salud to Salud. Capleton and Sizzler. Both. Go ahead, go. Going both. Wow, y'all foul for this one, bro. You putting the family against each other? <laughs> Listen, this is not. This is them. This is yeah, them. Yeah. Wait, all right. Stephen Morley or Damian Morley? <laughs> <laughs> this is them. This is them. That's them. Y'all, I came in here on one love. <laughs> I, came, I, I take a shot for you. We're not. Yo, we gotta, we gotta take. Please. We gotta yeah, take. You know what? Y'all deserve to take a shot for that. Y'all. Yeah, I, just, yeah, yeah. You know what? We ain't even gonna make you. Yeah, 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 you know what? You disrespect. You know what? Use no listen, shot. Listen, you, you, you said it earlier. It got to be a round where it's just us. And yeah, you hit it. This, this, this is it. The only time that I've seen it. This is based on disrespect. You're right. You're right about that. That was disrespectful. Oh, I like this one. Y'all in trouble, man. We talking your pay. Crazy. Marcus Garvey. Or Malcolm X. Wow. Wow. All right. So Malcolm X is born on I'm sorry. I'm born on Malcolm X's birthday. 
May 19, where it's, we, so obviously I love Malcolm X, but growing up, I knew more about Marcus Garvey as a Jamaican, and it's when I came to America, really, I started learning a lot about Malcolm X, you know, and, you know, that just... Um, for myself So it'd be like Marcus Garvey Just because of popularity And just the movement The Rastafari movement And those other things I've said before You know I've read his books And such Not a lot of his books I'm not going to front But mm. I've read some stuff So Marcus Garvey Okay Patek or AP? Patek Philippe I'm trying to sound French and shit <laughs> I'm assuming this is what Or Ottawa. I don't know nothing about Who's yet? Material make you. No material don't make you rich. You know, material. Swatch watch uh, or uh, Apple Watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I really have choices like that because most of my things are gifts. Okay. So, um, both, both, okay. both. Oh shit, shot. we're drinking for that. Yeah, yeah. For that, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. But because, I it for because that. his Majesty wore a Patek, you know. Right, right, right. <laughs> Hell, and, I'm wearing a, really? and I'm wearing the other stuff, so Hell, might as well drink for protect? it. Yes, sir. Holy shit. Yes, sir. Oh, I, yo, yo, Ross, yes, you slipping on your pimp. Yes, oh, yo. yo, you were supposed to tell me that, Ross. I'm, a, I'm a offended. I'm offended it's that you majesty. didn't know Helly Selassie wore protect. Yes, sir. We got to step it up. Yes, sir. Drink to that. Mm -hmm. That being good. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie. Woo. Martin Luther had a lot of Rolexes. Did he? Yeah. You know, Martin Luther kings are King kings. or Helly Selassie? What? <laughs> What'd you say? Wow. Martin Luther King or Heli Selassie? It's the same thing as the you know, other one. Well, we'll drink, we'll drink for that. We'll drink for that. They got shot. They got, Holy shish kebab. They got shot. <laughs> they got shot for that. That is called I am not. Another disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. Out of this okay. world. Out of this world. Okay. Oh, okay. Like, you want to go to the next? Uh, like, who even dare <laughs> even mention these things? <laughs> Dead Prez or Public Enemy? Wow. Wow, that's a good one. Wow. Sheesh. Uh, you jiggling with us this time. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm, you know, M1 and is my yeah, brother. Yeah, no, they're great. Those are great. And then guys. Chuck D, you dig. And then my, you know, growing up, you, like my brothers, you know, being in music, you end up meeting everyone on the side. You know, I'm yeah. the side. I'm like the side guy. Hey, that's my brother. Hey, what's up, man? You know? <laughs> So, and they're like an extension of each other. Like yeah, I feel like Dead yeah, Prez yeah, is an extension facts. of Public Enemy. But then, but Dead Prez used to come down to Jamaica in the early time, you know. So you, kinda, I met them in Jamaica actually. Yeah. How could I be down when they did it in Jamaica yeah, yeah, back yeah, in the yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kind of like have an affinity to them too, you know. And then yeah. M1 again is a brethren. You know, M1 is like already. You know what I mean? Boys, we have to go both. All right. Yeah. We have that to do that both. we have to do both. We have to Absolutely. do both. We have to do both. Right, I see where uh, we're. I see where we're going with this. Hey, can we do a... Hey, where is it? We have a tester. What are we testing? Oh, you can test, test it. No problem. Cups. Crevel did that from Migos. He, yeah. he, he, tried, he tried to oh, test Oh, yeah. It. They try to think yeah. we don't drink, but we... Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in for it. Fine, fine, fine. Yes. Fine. You can bring your diamond test How out. How about we, we give you our liquor? <laughs> bring your diamond you test out. <laughs> yeah. Today, you know what? It's a hard string day, too. Oh, and today... It's is my dad's birthday. It's birthday, yeah. So... You know, if that's what that's what's crazy is I've been seeing you for years, and I've always wanted to give you your flowers. I always wanted to tell you, you know. Um, and yesterday, I forget exactly what happened, and then we was like, I said, "Yo, can we push it?" And then they said, "You know what? It's Bob Marley's birthday tomorrow." Like it worked, and out. I was like, "Wow!" If that's not divine intervention, no, because, yeah, it's factual. Like, like how, how the day that I can get you, give you your flowers? And, and thank you for joining us. To give you your too. flowers. Thank you for joining us. It's on. The day Cause you could've been like Nah it's my pop's birthday Oh no because I love this show too You dig <laughs> God damn it we love you <laughs> no, I, I watch we, it we, we time, give, No no we wanna give you your flowers we, No 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 switch it on us We're going It's about you It's about you Because flowers, Because, flowers, because yeah. Nah you really deserve this man Like you know There's so many people You know uh, This heir What do they say The heir to the throne You know what I mean <laughs> heir, So heir, yeah. The heir to the throne right seen, seen, There's yes, so many seen. people Who don't who don't succeed to, 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 to fulfill or try to fulfill to, to, to another great man's shoes and to do it in your way and to do it where you come like you said yo man I don't, I don't really mess with the music like that but yeah. I'm on the business and everything else See, yeah, it's like, the honest way of doing it and this is your way of being I and I of being 
It- and you doing it, man. Like, I, I kid you not, from Angela Yee to everybody, they always just say, oh, man, you know, every time they get, they want to go to your hotel and support you and be like, and there's so many great people that, so, uh, big up my man, Chris Jones, man. Yeah, A lot man, of people don't know. I love Chris Jones, man. <laughs> His father's, his father's famous as fuck. I want to know. I love you. And yeah, so I, I know y'all can, can, can relate. Yeah, it's just a shot just standing right there. I got to take it. It's just a shot standing. Yeah, let's let it go but out there. Y'all got some standing out there. I really, really, really I'm, wanted to give you your clean. flowers, man. Because you got two back there? Oh, you guys get one that's standing out there. <laughs> Mm. And I'm gonna get the one that's but, 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 yeah, over there. on the question stuff. Yes, yes, yes. I'm but, gonna you ain't not gonna bring me in your tears. Keep the flowers yeah, over here. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, all right, next one. Yeah. Shaggy or Mr. Vegas? Ooh. Shaggy, Shaggy. Next one is yours. Shaggy, okay. that's easy. You that's don't wanna it. take this one? No, that'll try. I feel like Ross yeah. should take this one. Yeah, Ross, say it. It's pineapple, ginger, or sorrel. <laughs> so you just said it. Go ahead. No, I fucked up. <laughs> Wait. Wait, hold on. Pineapple, ginger, or sorrel? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know what sorrel right. is. What is no, that? No, pineapple, ginger is together. Right. And then sorrel is separate. Sorrel is the flower, right? That's sorrel is a, is a Christmas drink. When you're at Jamaica, and they, this is what they make on Christmas. They lie to me. So like hibiscus. It's on Christmas? It's hibiscus. Oh. So it comes from, it's, a, it's, a, it's like the pulp of the hibiscus. Right. But but I used to, t- I talked to you about like the scent, right? right. Mm-hmm. Of my father, right? Imagine smelling pineapple ginger, wood, and some stew. That's what you smell. So pineapple ginger mm. is like reminding me of my father. I love the scent. Yeah, like that's part of one of the house scent. You go, up, you go in the studio, you smell that. They call you in the kitchen making them. Right. But pineapple ginger is like a. It always reminds me of my father. So pineapple oh. ginger. I love that for that and its health purposes, of course. Right. But I like that. I like to. It takes me to the seventies, you know. Uh, yeah. You gotta come to my wife's juice bar. Juicy juice bar, Hollandale. We got a, my wife got a juice bar. We Dope. That's, that's what we do. She, you all do the delivery stuff too. Yeah, we ain't not to, not to your career. Yo, shit, it's a little far. Yeah, he he, he <laughs> does something by me. No, we can figure it out, though. Oh, you no, no, you say he in the beach. No, I ain't telling nobody where he at. No, I'm saying, I but I know your family uh, down south. because I'm famous, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 nobody want to know where you at. I went, yeah, to, we, yeah, I went yeah. to FedEx and I saw the fam one day. Yeah, yeah, I went to uh, FedEx. Uh, you yeah. going to them type of places. Yeah, yeah but uh, definitely come to the <laughs> juice bar. Um, <laughs> yeah, because pineapple ginger is uh, in effect. And we got sorrel, too. Okay. Sorrel is good, but it's not as... I mean, sorrel is nice, but it's not like if you ask my favorite thing. Right. Okay. I go for pineapple and ginger. Okay. Pharrell or Kanye? Any w- way you want to pick. <laughs> it's evil? It's these motherfuckers. Yeah, yo. It's <laughs> Columbia, the step, the step cell research. Can, yo. Wow. Jeesh. This is them type of questions when you like if people were your friends like if they even like some of the stuff you d- used to. No, do. I don't think they like it at all. <laughs> they not your this friends. Shit where Those guys like, are not your friends. Over oh, there. them motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> no, wow, that's a good one because. Those are like a really good comparison based upon, you know, because obviously in regards to the fashion side, fashion right? Side. You know what I mean? I knew he was going to go there. It's a, it's a thing because, they, you know, that type of, that's, you know, yeah. that street culture, that high luxury stuff mm-hmm. where they play around in, you know? And then as a music creative, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're even connected music. To yeah, sure. as a creative, as a uh, music builders, you know what I mean? Like producers. Wow, that's a tough one. Oh, Take a shot. Yeah. You're just, leading the witness, man. You keep leading the witness. Which one the shot for again? Pharrell or Kanye? You just wanted to be cool with both. <laughs> if I want to be cool with both, <laughs> he said you want uh, the gear from both of them. I'm gonna go both together. Yeah, I mean, okay. I'm gonna go. Uh, All right, so yeah, I guess. Just, yeah, that's man. You got. Uh, although, like, listen, I'm, I'm a big Pharrell. We, do, we doing yeah, the, no, the we, shot we, us right now. Yeah, we're gonna do a shot because. You know, it's one love. Yes, one love. It's one love, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been yeah. trying to get into you the new... Lou, yeah, it's a punk rock, yeah. The Lou, yeah, Louis Vuitton, cowboy shit. Oh, it's no, no, no. Well, I'm not into that shit either. Yeah, I'm not into but that. But if you talk about, me, yeah. like... I'm not into that stuff. Like, but He what? tried. He tried to do it. He put, I, did, I saw yeah. him over there. And he put I the did. rim Beyonce hat killed on. it. Beyonce killed the cowboy hat. Like, But I realized it's only Beyonce could do it. You know You know, You know who's a dope... You know who's awesome... Oswald Boateng, you know, he make, uh, makes suits of Savile Row in London. Oh, wow. Oswald Boateng from... Uh, Oswald Bo- Yeah, he's a super fucking oh, okay. sharp to the T. Okay. Grown man stuff. Okay. 
Like okay. good stuff too. I like everyone things. I like, you know, who I also like, um, Jerry Lorenzo, you know, mm. um, from, what's his brand? Fear of God. Fear of God. Essence, Fear of God. Yeah. Essentials. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And Fear of God is dope. I, know, I remember yeah. Jerry in LA when he used to run the nightclub scene and thing. Wow. I lived out in LA and then to see him like, you know, and Jerry, Jerry come from a, his father's a baseball player from, a, mm. I think Dodgers or something. Mm. That's super baseball, MLB. Wow. So Jerry's, you know me, been around sports a long time, so he he kind of inspired by that, that athletic wear that he's doing. So I like I like what Jerry's doing. Yeah, so he's right. one of my guys too. So I, I'm glad you didn't come. I, I'm glad you didn't throw him into the mix. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and we we did take a shot for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you did. You did. Skipping, you did. You did. Giving a cup. I'm gonna okay. take a oh. smoke for one of these. Yeah, please. Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock? All right, Dave Chappelle. Analog or digital? Analog. Mm. Mm, what happened? Hey, I got an iPhone. <laughs> Podcast or radio? Podcast. Because you know what? We got to move with the times, and I like this show. God damn it. We love that. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Gregory Isaacs or Peter Tosh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I guess we're drinking for that. Peter Tosh, Peter Tosh, okay. Peter Tosh, Peter Tosh. Method Man or Red Man? <laughs> They're brothers. That's true. That's why we'd say. Like, what do you do? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you gotta do a, a both. Okay, you, go both. you can't right. like. That's Stop one up. thing you can't like. Yeah, that's one you. That's like a. Did you you just can't like. You just can't put those guys against each other. No, nah, like, you can't. That's like illegal. another. That's illegal. some. Some. Wait a minute. Those are great. It's one of them things that you should drink on your own for it. No, no, no. Let's get away. No, no, no. We let you get away. No, no, no. That's a trick. That's a trick question. That's like a trick. No, no, no. How do you? That's a trick. Okay. Uh. Love or fear? Ooh. Hmm? You'd rather be loved, loved or, or feared? feared? All right. Mm. This is where the rubber meets yeah. the road. I'm going to tell you why, though. Love. Okay. Because why love? You see a lion? You have to love me. Mm. But you yourself know you fear me. Mm. You dig? Right. So it's love first because I walk in dominion. And I walk in love with myself. But you on the outside, when you look on this lion, you know it's fear. But it's truly love. So, because we, we, we're ever ready. You know what I mean? But it's really love. But we're lions. And that's how we say lion order. That was hard. I lie. Ended with this one? Yeah. Um, so I gotta take a baby? Yeah, yeah. I got, I got <laughs> Not, not, not in the interview We're in no, a no, quick no. time A slide Loyalty or respect? Loyalty Okay, oh, He said that fast Yeah Because with loyalty Come respect Because you know First you have to have The loyalty Then the respect will, You know Respect is Subjective Because some things You do through love And through loyalty And then it becomes Like I respect this man Because I love this person And I'm loyal to this person Because of love Right. So it's really, you know, it's always got to be loyalty. Loyalty, you know, it's just truth. I'll right. take a shot to that. Yeah, I'm taking yeah, a, shot take a shot. You ain't supposed to take a shot. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, you, you, like, you got mad smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was hard. You got yeah. smarter? Yeah, that was smart. Like, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, like, I'm gonna take a few You want to do it together? Yeah, you know, no, 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 no. Because, <laughs> you, know, you know what's, I, I, it's just on my wait? mind. I gotta take it, because he's bathroom too. Yeah, okay, we'll do, we'll it's on my mind, I gotta say this out. One thing about Jamaicans, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jamaicans always had juice bars wherever I was at in my hood. And they would be the most health conscious people. Yeah, preaching it. Preaching it. And to at everybody. the same time, selling me butt. <laughs> Which who says it's not health driven? No, no, I didn't say it, it's not. All right. But that's that's tackling mental health. I, I I give you I give you you know, in the hood, a lot of people can't afford to go to the doctors. 
So what they do is they go to their local juice bar. <laughs> and I remember, I, I tell this story all the time. It's the reason why I believe in Tiger Bone and I believe in pills. Yeah, believing it and drinking it every day is two different things, though. But okay. I went to a juice bar one day. Yeah. The police came. <laughs> I've ran into the juice bar. I did not realize <laughs> the that the juice bar was the weed spot. <laughs> so I'm running into where they oh, fucking. They're going. They're raiding I'm, I'm you. I'm running right from now. them, running into where they're going, <laughs> yeah. like an idiot. They hold it. So I get outside, and then police say to me, "Uh, well, what was you doing in there?" Yeah. I was like, I was buying, just buying Tiger Bone. Yeah. And the police is like, "Oh, okay, great. I didn't know Tiger Bone was illegal at the time." <laughs> they run in, whatever, whatever. The next day, I come up. I say, "Yo, what the fuck happened?" They said, "Some idiot told the police we were selling Tiger Bone." <laughs> I was like, "That was me." <laughs> they was like, "Nori, this is illegal." So anyway, that same week, Tiger Bone, a guy comes to the same health school spot, I've and he hugs this man. I never heard of this. Listen, listen, listen. He hugs this man, and when he hugged him. <laughs> I never seen a man hug another man. This platonic. This is platonic. Yeah. But this was like, and he said like to him. Like an embrace. Or good it was embrace. like, he started crying. So I looked, and I was that curious. I was like, yo, my man, I never seen, like, you know, <laughs> one straight man hug another straight man like that. <laughs> like, what happened? He said. Are you straight? He said. He said. <laughs> my dick didn't work for seven years. You told the story here. He said, I told my, this is the guy saying this to me. He said, he told his wife to cheat on him because he, he, couldn't, he couldn't please her. Oh, that guy. But this man got ginger root and, and, and fucking tiger bone. Tiger bone, yeah. And, and, and these pills from these Rastafarians. And this man said, I'm fucking like a rabbit right now. <laughs> Going and I'm looking, he's crying, his tears. This is a grown man. This is a grown man. This is beyond years. I can't even tell you what type of 60s he was in. He's in the silver status. He, yeah, yeah, he, he, he had you beat. <laughs> <laughs> like, his shit was gray everywhere. His, his shit was gray. He's a culture. But, and he start the living the Rastafarian culture. He's a culture. And, man, this guy is somewhere... But you, naked. You, you know why? You know you. You know why Eating it's the culture. Mangoes. No you, meat. You, you know yeah. why it's the culture. What's the most important thing to us as human beings, men or women, to reproduce? No, having a partner, right? Like right, a, right. a wife or a husband, right? All right. Why? For procreation. For yeah. For, so. For, so it's the so it's the most important fornication. <laughs> Gotta relax. Not fornication. But I mean, that's what the that's what the, it's, it's a part of, that's what the crowd is saying. It's a, it's a form of love. <laughs> okay. It's an exercise. It's an exchange. It's how you show love to each other? Right. But you have to be able to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to service your. You have to. I mean. So you have to just be able to you know right. provide. You gotta do that. You gotta do that. So you gotta our culture, get it up, guys. Yeah, facts. <laughs> <laughs> our culture is like that. Everything you drink, right. everything you eat is all based around that. Yeah. Fish, you drink fish water for this. Yeah. Everything you got the okra root, for this. All the root is Every, for this. This is for that. Yeah. This is everything is around the productive organs. Yeah, every everything that uh, every every Jamaican friend of mine always says, sorrow. It's for your good thing, man. It's for your wedding. Sorry, everything my Jamaican oh, right, friends right, tell right, me. Right, right, yeah, it's for the wine. Everything, like, yo, Jesus. Everything, everything. God damn it. You drink water. You got regular it's because cheese. of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it, it lasts longer. Why well, 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 I gotta last this long? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, <laughs> hold on, use the bathroom too. <laughs> you gotta use the bathroom. No, I'm fine. Okay, hold on. Right. So I guess, all right. Well, yeah. 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 hold up, man. For our Drink Champs Army, they should know by now. That's but right. download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use the code Drink Champs or Drink or Champs. Any yep. one combination will get you a match hundred dollar on behalf of Drink Champs. Dale que tu puedes. I need my hundred. Did, did we hit? Did we hit? The number. The we doing good. How we, we do? How we doing? Well, unfortunately for Ian like the and Nori, they lost. 
We lost. They picked the West to beat the East, and Sonny and I took that victory. You're talking about the we, NBA All Star, just the to be NBA All Star game. Let's just get that correct. And uh, this, for the first time in NBA history, they scored 200 points. Wow. One team scored 200 points. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Who the West? The East, the East scored the East. 211. The West scored 186, and everybody is. Uh, Talking about that there's no defense in the game. And they're yes, getting soft. Everyone's showing off. And they're getting soft. There's a blowout. Yeah. Lillard went 20 off. years ago when Allen Iverson and Kobe was in the All-Star game, there were 48 three-point attempts. This time around, it was 186 three-point attempts. Wow, yeah, it was crazy this They got to relax. All-Star game is the time for you to be rock and park. And have Bring fun, to the NBA, fun, right? dunks, all the cool Ooh. shit. But actually, you know, there's people going on record saying that they paid a lot of money for an All-Star competitive nature vibe, and it was nothing like that. It's nothing like that. Nothing at all. And then, to the three-point challenge. The well, first I was about to ask about the three-point challenge. The three-point challenge, you were correct. EFN was correct. And Sonny, you were correct. Thank Steph you. Steph Curry took it to Sabrina Ionescu. I took that loss. I went for the WNBA player. Did you think- but uh, shout out to Sabrina and um, Steph. Steph didn't take it like at all. He definitely took it to them. The All Star game was dope. 50 she did Cent, her thing. Uh, Fifty Cent, Fat Joe, fi- all of them was out there. But coaches, assist- right? Kai Fifty- Sanai, uh, yeah. City. Fifty Cent was assistant coach for the celebrity game. They won with Shannon Sharp and Lil nice. Wayne. His team lost, but it was Stephen dope to a. see. Stephen A. Smith, right? Stephen right. A. Smith, correct. It was dope. I right. was there too. And while I was there, a Mary down. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're gonna get right into the pick. We're gonna do higher lower underdog fantasy. Gave us some good choices. Let's go. Underdog, underdog, NBA under, games. underdog fantasy. Let's go. Let's go. But the first game is Orlando Magic versus the Detroit Pistons. Higher or lower, who's gonna win the game? I like Orlando and higher, higher, higher. Detroit might be the worst team in the league. Orlando Damn. for me. I'm going Orlando too. I'm going Orlando because Florida. Cause yeah. Florida. Uh, I'm going as a clean sweep. We're all going for Orlando Magic. And shout out to the Magic. They retired Shaq's jersey a couple days ago. First Orlando Magic player to get his jersey retired. Shout out to Shaq. Shout out to Shaq. Shout out to Drink Chance alone. Drink Chance alone. Shout out to Split TV too. Shout out to Split TV. From Orlando. Facts. SPK. For the last pick for tonight's uh, Mm. choice, this is all to all my Dominican people out there. Mr. Lee, we love you. Al Harford. Versus Mitchell Robinson, who they call the Blockness Monster. Which is Dominican. Two Dominicans? Uh, With no no, Dominican names? Al Al Horford is an Olympic champion and an NBA champ. And he Mr. Lee don't know that shit. <laughs> no, we don't. Yeah. He does not. He don't know that shit. Yeah, Al Horford. That's know. his last name, Horford. He he's Dominican? He's super Dominican, yeah. Al yes, he is. His H-O-R-F-O-R-D. Yeah. So what do you think, Ian? Higher or lower against Mitchell Robinson, a.k.a. the Blockness mm-hmm. Monster? And that's Mitchell yeah, Robinson? Blockness um, Monster. I like Mitchell that. Robinson, nah. <laughs> Dominican? No. I'm going to go Dominican. Higher. I got to go Dominican. <laughs> we, I think we're going Dominican. Yeah. Dominican. Yeah. Get up here. DR in the building. Just because Felipe Lopez. Okay, and oh, I'm gonna switch it up. Shooting guard, point guard, Drew Holiday, Olympic champ, gold medal, or Jalen Brunson? King of New York right now. King of New York, right? I'm going with Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson going with the big. That's the one with the braids. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going with Jalen Brunson. And 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 yo, MVP for him. They absolutely did. Like, yo, listen, even though, like, we, we you know, the Garden, if the Garden yells MVP for you, then that means we you got know, your back. You legend, and, and, you legend. And they're super behind him. He's he's killing it. Drink Chance Army, Underdog Fantasy app. Underdog Fantasy Underdog app. Fantasy. Drink Chance is a code. Get your $100. Let's Use go. Code Dreams or Chance. Put in $100. We'll match you $100. We matching. Come on, Diego. Come, come ahead for this one. Yo, can you put it, can you make the, see if you put it in me? Yeah. What's that? Uh, you know what? What is that? Uh, you, you don't smoke blunt. No, I don't smoke blunt. Yeah. You know, I'm, I, my lungs are still in the 90s. I'm sorry. <laughs> my, lungs, my lungs haven't grown up. My lungs have not grown up. <laughs> but I see you running though, which yeah, I love. Yeah, I'm trying, man. I see you running yeah, every morning yeah, at yeah. fucking 5 a.m. Yeah, I'm yeah. jealous. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, you make me jealous. You, you, you oh, motivate, oh, you yeah. motivate us. You motivate yeah. us. <laughs> Cause we can drink, but you know what? We gotta have a balance in life. No, you motivate us. Yes. You do, and I, it's good to see you doing that. Uh, I, yeah. I like to run on the beach myself. Oh yeah, I tell you, I run. I, we going with your man, Warren Sap on the bike. 
Yeah. Nobody's in our way. Yeah. <laughs> Move out the bike lane. <laughs> Ryan, he stays, Ryan, Ryan stays moving. Yeah. I so, get to play this. so your son has a hit record out now. I heard. Huge hit. Yeah. I mean, how can you and Laura not make have a son with a hit record? It just it wow. To, it just has to go. It goes along with it. I can. I must say this though. Mm-hmm. Commend Miss Lauren Hill because yes, when you talk about. Like, I only know certain people like this, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just, I mean, you know, obviously it's my son, you know, but, you know, she's his mother. And you know what her craft is. Absolutely. But I only know certain people like this. And it's one of the reasons why when I was young, I always made it my point to never interfere with Miss Hill's music. Like, I always, you know, I take a backseat to her music because she's super great, you know? Yes. And you talk about Public Enemy. I remember when Chuck D said, like, Lauren's like the female Bob Marley. He was, mm. he, you know, he's wow. right about that. Mm. Yeah. He's, he's truly right because she's like really that person. And when you talk about someone that stands on principle, mm. you know, like, because, in, like I said, at some point in life, you gotta like own yourself, you know. You like That's own yourself. She's sure she don't own, give a fuck. You know what I mean? She's like fuck but, that. But, I'm, but not, I'm here when I want to get here. No, not really no, like that. Because you know, as a, music, I, as a musician, and because sometimes you like going through stages, right? Mm. Like, <laughs> and then it so happens that you still have to do your this, but you're still going through your own mind and solidifying your consciousness in regards to walking this way that you mm. see as your way. Being and human. no one believes in your way <laughs> because it's not your way. So you have to kind of own your way. And it's new to you because it's a vision that you have for yourself, right? right. So this way is new to you. So for you to uh, attain this way, you have to do it and people are going to say oh she's this she's that right. but then again you're in your mind and then you got to perform so sometimes there's a delay because of all the acc- the accolades all right. the attributes that go along with that the attire and the this and the that the timing is always you know it, maybe you get up at one and you got to be on stage at eight but you take five yeah. hours to do this you know so you know timing wise yes, of course so but today and been through that and seeing her in Brooklyn Performing with the Fujis again, Lauren Hill and the Fujis. Fire. It was just like yeah, watching. Sitting the Fujis back together. You know what? The greatest, the greatest rap band ever in history is the yes. Fujis. Yes. Hands down. Yes. So to see them on stage together again and Lauren Hill and the they're Fujis. They're like all Bob Marley sons. <laughs> like, like, they're like descendants. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of crazy. I didn't even look at that until you just said that. Yeah, that's real. So... It is what it is. Right. But to see now YG and to watch YG Marley, because his name means Young Gong. Oh, like my dad is Tough Gong. Tough gong. Right. Tough yeah, gong. Junior Gong. Junior yeah. Gong. Young Damien, Gong. Right. So I'm, I mean, but YG, like, is special, you know? Right. Wow. My, my brother called, my brother Steven, when he was young, he called him Jajash. Yeah, he's baptized in the river, the Orthodox River, by the same priest that baptized my father, all of us. Wow. Ethiopian Orthodox. So, yeah, we're all, all Orthodox, you know. But he's special, you know. He grew up in Jersey, South Orange. So, but he's, he's rough. Because, right. you know, there's no Damn, better you roses. grew up in South Jersey? South Orange, yeah. And Newark, South Orange, went to like Columbia High School and thing and thing, and then places. So he grow, he grow, in the, he grow as like an independent youth still, right. Right. finding his way. Because as his parents, we don't really he try. He did what you did, like find his own way. Yeah, Fox. So to, I mean, and then you know, first when I heard the song, I was like, wow, Josh, wow, we gotta clear this. <laughs> like, right. who, who do you think? Who do you think? Pa- I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Who do you think had more pressure? <laughs> You trying to be great in your world or him trying to be great in his world? Oh, man, he don't have no pressure, man. No! He don't have no pressure. His mother paved the way. I did what I had to do. His father, grandfather, legacy, he ain't got no pressure. Can't you see how cool he is? Okay. But it ain't because of that. Is because of cause of his own life, own his own experiences, being that. And then remember, right? Lauren Hill is his mother. Listen to all the stuff in the media about your mother, whatever they say about your father. But listen to how they try to 
hurt your mother because right. she don't confine to the system and listening to that and going to school and and you have to and still have to be the lion that you are. Damn. It's like, yeah, fuck that. Take a shot. So that. yeah, I have to take a shot for I'm that bomb a shot. because I'm, I'm, I'm it's really tough. That. Oh, yeah, that because was so they, they tried to destroy Lauren because Miss Hill, pardon me, they tried to destroy Miss Hills. Work and legacy because she didn't want to do another miseducation the way they wanted her to do it. She wanted to make music her own way as her evolution. Right. So through that now they they would you know so you know the record you, you know the thing. I know. But she ain't gonna bow to that. So she's a real queen in that industry, and she's and people say oh we don't well if you're a true Lauren Hill fan you know that whether she's not at the same time that you guys wanted her to be on stage. Right. But she been touring ever since and still touring today. Yes. So she's like, to me, she's like the band, the, like she built a career like the Grateful Dead. Right, right. She's not like a woman. She don't chase no interview. Right. She ain't that's doing, a good. That's a good comparison. But now it's so beautiful to like see her create her art and teach Joshua the way and bring Joshua on stage to open for the Fuji's reunion and Lauren Hill and the Fuji's to give him away and give him a spotlight and and like guide him, help him to orchestrate his music. Like kind of, you know, she's a G, a like real G, like real G, bro, bro. Like she's ill. Like she's like top notch. Let's take a shot for Miss Lauren Hill. I like what you call them, Miss Hill. Hold up, hold up, hold up, Miss Hill. Yeah, you got to call her by her name, Miss Hill. That's her name. You know, some people go by this and that. She go by that. Cheers, right. fellas. Cheers. Cheers to Miss Hill. Rastafari. Yeah, man. Respect. Holy shit. We, and we had prize on. We had Wyclef. We had Wyclef. Wyclef. Brothers, brothers. Yes. My brothers. Yes. Both of them being People great. We would love to have Miss Hill. Love. Yes, we would love to have Miss Hill. <sighs> we no, are going to be I, I, Please. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> we're not asking you. We're, just, we're, just, we're just saying it out loud. <laughs> you looked at us like we, we wasn't asking you. He looked at me like, no, 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 don't look, don't look at me. We're not asking you. We said we're asking. We're asking the gods. <laughs> There's a reason I say Miss Hill. <laughs> Trust me. No, I don't know. Hey, I'll tell you, that's the respect I have, right? Because trust me, I don't want. I'm I love no that. man, no interruption. Yeah. So, but I like I I will do a copy paste. Good. You know, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is from. <laughs> no, I didn't write this. <laughs> nah, man. I have nothing to do with this. Yes, nah. nah I'm just sharing. I will yeah. for sure. So I'll share that. Let and me, you know, and then obviously, mm. it, it, you know, now now now, because people always try to like pin you to a time. Right, mm. you know what I mean, and like you said, oh man, they always, you know, I read the comments. Oh, this guy, I remember this guy, because the one thing for sure though, she don't like when I talk about this, but I like to talk about it because it's a fact. I remember these people. I see this guy, this keyboard player. He's always such a great guy, whatever, whatever. But anyway, he wasn't around when Miss Hill was doing Miss Education of Lauren Hill, and I remember when those New York. Guys, they were like one guy was a programmer. She don't like when I talk about it. So I'm gonna talk about it anyway because they like to paint her in this image. I remember she taking the programmer, with talented programmer, drum program, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Took him out of New York, and he had a bridge named Kilo, and they created this New York Entertainment Group. I remember them and the two twins. I was there. She brought him upstairs to her, her place in the, in New York, and kind of like because she really can't program the drums, but she knew her sound. She knew what she wanted, right. and those guys can. Swing it with her swing and thing and she, like Michael. Michael yeah. didn't know how to play right. music, but he but would hum the could, music. She could swing it. She right. so so the time when those guys, you know, they they oh Miss Hill, we we want we want such and such and this because when she met them, she said to those guys that you know I'll get you guys a publishing deal with Sony, but you but my music is my music. And after she did her thing, the guys came back and tried to sue her, right? But because Miss Hill at the time was doing her sabbatical, right? Sabbatical meaning she got in depth within the Bible. Like she really, like she's really one of them people. Like, you know, Bob Marley take on Rastafari. It's just another way, you know, she just take on the truth. Like through them Old Testament ways, she just take, take on this life 
to to for, to build her true foundation of self and what she believed in. But she true, she was in that wavelength. The system was able to take advantage of her, right? Because she 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 didn't really defend anything. She says whatever, whatever. She was like the material, like she was in that space. She said that, yes, yeah, so that so. Well, you know, but those guys know that, and they and because it didn't have to be that way, and they know that. And they still, you know, sometimes they beg me for forgiveness, not in those words, but right, right. I me, mean, you know, they call me sometime and I say, Mister, you know, such and such and such. Oh no, so whatever, you know, because as a musician and the type of musician that she is, she needs like certain type of musician. But these people, the problem with these guys, they they want to be. Mr. Star Guy on your project. Mm, right. But I'm like, she's telling these guys, no, 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 no. I like you because you know the, your knowledge for music and your the way you strum and I like your sound. But I need you to strum this. Uh, 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 uh. I need, I need that from you. Don't give me that. But this is... No, no, no. And so that little, right. that little ego thing, because, oh, but no, I've been studying music. I went to music school. I don't give a, you could have went to. She's me. the conductor and they're not letting her conduct. Right. right. So, so that burned their ego and she don't play. She don't care. So, all right, you know what? Oh, I'm Mr. I work with such and such. Who care the fuck who you work with, Mom G? Yeah. You, like, who care who you work with? I don't give a, who care? So that, so she get a bad rap for those things, but she's a true G. You dig and she don't play and she's a woman and she stand up for her rights as a woman in the industry and she don't let nobody take advantage of her you know what I mean her word is bond like that and what she says is what she believe in and she's one of them type of people so when you look at YG you look at Sailor Sarah Joshua I mean, Joshua is YG <laughs> you dig Zion and then again our young Yaki son is together? we this is your kids together you know? yeah we have five okay yeah wow, wow. five yeah. Together, beautiful children. You have a daughter, right? I have seven children before, and now I have five other ones. So I have 12 total. I have seven grandchildren and two on the way. So I have a long, big family. You do. And they're all beautiful people. <laughs> Zion. So, so Lauren and I, we have Zion first, then we have Sailor. Then we have Joshua, then we have John, and we have Sarah. And Lauren has a son, Micah. <laughs> Micah. Big respect to Micah. He's, Micah. Not, okay. he's not of my he's not my child, right. but he's born on July 23rd. And July 23rd is the birthday of Haile Selassie the first. Oh so, Leo. Yeah, so I have to love him. Yes. Even though he's not uh, he, I love him same way. Like he's not my child. Oh, okay. And it's I just have to miss myself and Miss Lauren. You know, we traveled, we journeyed apart, but I love him the same way. He's her son, and he's a truly intelligent boy, too. Right. So that's how you know the super intelligence of Miss Lauren Hill. Her mother is a school teacher, school principal. Father is like a computer scientist. Brother is a, he's a tech guy. Smart family, man. Ivy League. She went to, what, uh, Columbia University for a time. Super intelligent people. Jeez. Trust me. Oh my God, I respect yeah, you. So I, I feel uh, now officially. <laughs> <laughs> respect, respect to intelligence. Respect intelligence. So. I love intelligence, by the way. Yes. Just want you to know. Yes. I'm inspired by intelligence. Uh, uh, I learned how to use a computer <laughs> after college at Miss Lauren Hill's house. I knew after nothing, college? After. I knew nothing about this. How does he teach you uh, technically but, shit? I'm playing football, man. Oh, yeah. He was a he was a jock. He was a jock. And, right. and, man, right. okay. man, I, I couldn't do I, I couldn't do both. I mean, right. today I commend the kids that are doing both. Right. Right. The one that studied and played football at the same time. Good for you, man. <laughs> Good for you. Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Someone asked me this question the other day. They say, would, would, would I ever be starstruck? And I say, yes. Just probably. Mm. Two people in this world I'll be starstruck with. Yeah. Larry David from Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, last season, right? Yeah, this is last, last season. season. I, I I think I will walk out the room. If Larry, I think I will run out the room because I don't want to meet him because Larry if he's David? a dick, it'll fuck up everything. That's a good about one. Larry David. Wow. Larry David and uh, um, Jerry Seinfeld. Really? 
Yeah, I don't want to. Those wow, cool. wow. Yeah, As I a musician, those. wow. I, 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 you're, you're, you're really a comedian. <laughs> Listen, no, 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 he is. He is. I watch. He, that, he has that. That side you're a of comedian him. all no, day. Like if I if I could watch something all day, if you come to my house, <laughs> it's either curb your enthusiasm, yeah, or. Wow, or, wow, intelligent. All day. Like that type comedy of comedy. Is, is intelligent. Absolutely. Right. Very wise. I, I, mean, I, I recently met David Chappelle. Oh, wait, hold on. Go ahead. Sorry. So, so go let me ahead, ask go you. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Is there anybody you starstruck? Who? who? Like, like, have I met them or people in general? In general. Both. All right. Both. Okay. All right. I remember th- this is when I knew like this is when I like really knew something because you know I came to America in 1984 and this is when I like I I I, I knew this was like okay cuz I'm in Jamaica watching these things and you know it was a victory tour and the tickets in Miami you you can't go to this concert Victory Tour. Michael Jackson and his uh, brothers. Uh, wait, the Jackson 5? The Victory Tour. It's called Victory Tour, man. You guys are in music? You guys are in music? You guys are in music stuff? Yes, yeah. Yeah, but we was youngins too uh, back yeah, yeah. then. All right, whatever, man. I'm young too. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the Victory Tour. But I remember. Five. Yeah, I remember, <laughs> right? They were older too. Watching the news at my grandmother's house in Miami. I just came here. It's like, I think it's like 86. <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be like 86. I mean, something like that. Because when I was young, I wanted those zip up, zippy zippy pants like Michael Jackson had, you know? <laughs> and I remember watching him on the news and he busted the, 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 the moonwalk. Walk. And I remember my skin, the goosebumps. I was like, wow. So like that. You were still brown skin at that time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Michael Jackson, right? <laughs> and then, and then the other person where, like, is like a superhero to me. Like this person is like, well, this uh, this one is uh, well, obviously uh, let's, Bruce let's Lee. Do the drum roll. I never let's met Bruce roll. Lee, but do the drum roll for this. And my son and I, we have problems about these things. Don't stop the drum roll, buddy. Okay. I mean. We're in number 23. Oh, Jordan. Wow. Never met Jordan. I met Jordan. Yeah, he met Jordan. Never but the, 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 the most awesome human being I know, like, he talk about, like, Star Street, like, wow. wow. I remember, like, Lauren, she was getting an award for um, NCAAP. NAACP. NAACP? NAACP. No, he's like, no, what the I, fuck I is NWA? All right, NWA. You gotta be drunk and still get Somebody that right. Fucking, that's yeah. somebody made that Don't shit. Worry, we have ADHD, so we're all fucked up. Shit, anyway. I'm fucking with fuck that. Guy. Somebody, the guy that owned yeah. that shit, he's not even the right. Okay, yeah. All right, NWACP. Yeah, yes, guy. Okay. So Lauren is getting her award, uh-huh. and they're honoring Michael Jordan. Woo. So Lauren's dad, he says to me, Miss Hill's dad. Well, this time it's Lauren for me. I mean, whatever. At that time period. At that time. Right, this, right, right. We're talking about time period. Right, right. Don't, you, don't you're married, yeah, you're yeah. married at the time. Yes, as you, as you say. Right. right. <laughs> so Lauren, dad said, you won't believe this. Guess who you're sitting next to? I said, who? He says, Michael Jordan. I said, get the fuck out of here. You didn't know you were sitting next to him? No, because the, we, we had the front row, Lauren. I mean, remember, Lauren is the top of the top. Yeah. So absolutely. it's Lauren, and then it's... Um, it's Michael Jordan and then his wife Cookie. Cookie, no, not Cookie. No, sorry. What's that's Michael's that's name? Wife name at the time? Uh, Juanita. Okay. Juanita, I believe. Juanita's there. I so. think so. So I, I'm looking. I can't believe fucking Michael Jordan. It's like I can't fucking believe this shit. But this was the time when he had cut it, cut his finger with the cigar opener. I know his history, right? So he was, yeah. he was wearing a, yeah. <laughs> he was wearing a band. So I'm like, hey, you coming back? <laughs> like, like, of course I introduced myself, you know, bam, bam. November 2nd, 1984 was the Victory Tour. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, yeah, just, what, November 2nd? Yep, 1984. Yeah, I just came to America August 1984. 
Yeah. So you was already on tour. Yeah. So Billy Jean. Billie... Wait, what? He wasn't on tour. No, I came when they. No, I came. Going on tour, motherfucker. No, I got expelled out of school. Jesus. And that's how I ended up in America. I didn't even tell you that part of my life. Yeah. But anyway, it's another time for that. And but, um, MJ. Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, I would say outside of my family are like two of my heroes, heroes, heroes. Like I remember Warren Sapp. So you saying you met both MJs. You met I Michael. never met Michael Jackson. Oh, but you went to the tour. I, I was no. I saw to what I tour. I saw him on the news and my my skin had the goosebumps. Ooh. So that's <laughs> and so because, I'm doing a moonwalk. But when I was young, I, I mean I wanted the, the parachute, the jacket. I wanted that stuff. I wanted the Michael Jackson, like the I thriller I wanted joint. The the yeah, like Billy Jean beat it. The red like, I was, or the black. I, uh huh. The red or the black. You get very specific, red, bro. Red, 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 You're way red, too red. specific. Red, uh, red is the thriller. Red. Red. red is thriller. Red is thriller. There's a lot about you, cause look, the black. How does that one, say a lot about you? It's a lot. Yeah. So what does it say? The black one, you might still rob somebody. <laughs> The red one, you going to the left. Yeah. To the left. Uh, we don't know. To the left, to we the left. We don't know where the left went at Dagger. But <laughs> well, I'm red. Yeah. Because fire. Red. Yeah. You and Prodigy. Yeah, sure. Him up. Rest in peace. So, bless him up. Bless yeah. him up. Bless him up. So yeah, so that those are my would be I would say the people like I think very like as Michael I as Jordan I just Michael Jackson. Yeah, man. Yeah. And I remember Warren Sapp one day, right? Mm. He called, me, he called me on a FaceTime. Hey, Ro, I got somebody for you. And he put Michael Jordan on FaceTime. Oh, shit. I was like, yo, hey, man. So they at the golf course? I know, they were on a boat. I'm oh. just sitting on the back of a fishing. Great shit, my bad. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. So I was trying to tell him that story. Hey, man, I remember meeting you, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, hey, man, shut up. Like, <laughs> Damn, <laughs> son. So, yeah, so yeah. cut me off. Yeah. But, but, but the problem was, you know, you can't, you can't take up too much time with this man. So he's like, what do you say? I'm trying to tell him my story. Oh, man, hey, I met you and so-and-so. And... <laughs> Seven's five. Seven's like, bro, he can't hear that shit. Later. <laughs> no, no, like, like, did you no. write that mic? No, Sap is the type of guy, you be in full conversation. Yo, Sap, such and such. A, all right, bro, I'll see you later. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, all right. What? That's not me saying. That's Sap. That's Sap. That's Sap. Yeah. So, yeah, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. Why? Right. Yeah. That's the only people you were fan out. No, I mean, Pele. I met Ooh, Pele Soccer player Pele like Like soccer When you talk about I'm an athlete still okay. You dig So How about I'm, Messi Yeah I'm, I mean I'm, Remember I'm, I'm a little older So I always go all the way You know To For Pele older, right. Ronaldo Pele Ronaldinho I'm Brazilian players But Messi I do like but I'm, these, but I'm, I'm at, more oh, of like I'm more into Brazil. 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 I'm oh. more I'm more of a Brazilian where's guy. Messi, where's Messi from? Argentina. Argentina. I'm Brazil. And I'm then more, was Ronaldo Cristiano? What was his name? Um, I mean, you I like Cristiano because he's a legend. He's one of the most famous football players in the world. But I'm a Brazil. I mean. I'm like Brazil. Have you been to Brazil? Yeah. I've, Renato. I've to, I have a daughter from Brazil. Yeah, he, he came to my birthday party. You out of control. He came to my birthday party. Yeah. Uh, from Brazil. Yeah. I bet you we can say any continent. I feel like he's going to be like, well, I have a kid from that. <laughs> you try. <laughs> Yo, I just said, you ever been to Brazil? He said, yeah, I have a, I have a daughter in Brazil. <laughs> I do. My name is Maria. I mean, we could be like, well, cheers to my Brazilian daughter yeah. Maria. Cheers, cheers, oh, cheers, 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 cheers. To my but Brazilian. I feel like I fear if we say the moon, you might be like, yes, the moon. I have, you, a, well, I have a child in the moon. I was in well, Jupiter. Like I, I you know? told you about my, you know, I am into UFOs. Cheers, cheers to that. Cheers to those. So, who has more kids, you or your pops? Well, you know, my dad, he's Is the that? father to the world, but naturally, he had, you know, nine, eleven children. Good. Is that is that the Rastafarian way to procreate? No, in it's that not way? really. It's not really a Rastafari way to procreate. I mean, I think it's everyone's way. Right, right. But I'm saying in that magnitude. But, well, well, guess what happens? I'm just, I'm just be honest. I'm... Well, guess what happens, right? <laughs> Say, like, for instance, as a human being, I have a girlfriend, right, or a woman that I consider I'm going to be with this woman for a long time. Right. So we're naturally having intercourse. Mm. And if you have intercourse over a period of time, 
a lot of times, naturally, there's going to have certain results. Right. And they're going to be positive. Right. <laughs> it's right. going to be right. a, 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 you know, a life child. Is, life happens. Life, yeah, so over a certain period of time, you know, it just happens that you have children with the woman you're with. So it's like that. It's really, it's like, it's being with someone and having a child. And then normally, naturally, when you're younger, when you're much younger, right? You know, it is, you're trying to find yourself too. And so sometimes, you know, you, you do things where you don't even say you're right or wrong. You just feel like it's the right way because who's to tell you it's the wrong way, right? right? So you're figuring it out for yourself. So you think this woman is the woman you want to be with. And you the person, then the person along the way changes her ways or you change your way towards this person. Naturally. Yeah, Naturally, so right. it doesn't work out. So you end up being with someone else and then you have another child. And then it doesn't work out. Then you end up being someone else and you have another child and then it doesn't work out. And then it just happens to not work out some of the times until I, it works I, out. How do you manage fathering the children? That's the best birds and the bees conversation I've ever heard about. Well, how you manage them is bees just like you them. manage your friends, right? Right, right. So if you, so friends, family, <laughs> how you manage life. Like some people don't have children. They manage that. Yeah, have you ever seen a dog walker? You've yeah. seen one that walked like 15 dogs. Yeah. How do you manage that? That's what he does. So I, as a father, I live for my children. My life is to raise children. That's what I live of. I love that. That's why like, I want to raise like a champion, you know? So like, it's my, it's like my, my, is what I get to mold. So that's like my purpose in life. Like the things I do is for that. Mm. And then again, it's also a form of, Procreating and true. Some instances were love. Some instances was just happens. But you know, now I'm more disciplined. Right. My Cuban girlfriend ain't playing that. So, <laughs> like, why not? It's not gonna play, bro. She, she don't play it. Let's get get so, violent. But that's another story. <laughs> but she don't play. And she give me. I, she love my children. She give me that respect and thing, you know. So I can. But to do that, you have to be a father. You have to be committed to your children. Um, and you have to know that it's your responsibility as a man. You know, your children are your children. And to that's guide them as well. You, you must. And my house is my children. My doors are open to my children. I have children that are married. You know, my daughter Eden, she's married and she has two nice, beautiful daughters. Wow. I'm a grandfather to them. I have a son. Like my children graduate college. I have older children. They're in their one thirty year old up and this. And What's then the youngest young you have? My youngest is gonna be two in March. Wow, you out of control, bro. I'm in control. <laughs> I'm, I think no, no, I have a, I'm, I'm a three-year-old. I'm actually in control. I'm actually. I have, no, I no, I know. I'm, I'm playing, but I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old, <laughs> and I'm out of control. <laughs> well, I think I'm like in control of stuff. Like, <laughs> no, but I understand what you say though. But you know what though? That's the trenches. I mean, that's just you know, it's a part of what I eat. <laughs> <laughs> this guy took it to the food. <laughs> Vegans, man. He said, "I'm a good father, and I, I can handle it." I'm a productive it. guy. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat ginger I, root. I, I can produce, <laughs> man. I'm a productive guy. So, but I, but now I'm 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 you know I'm very I'm very settled in life, and I I find the right person for me, and then mm -hmm. I'm moving on like that. So it's good. But I, I feel like I have a lot of children that I need now to to build them, build the characters, build leaders, and I have my own little army. So that I can focus on, you know? And they so make I, you as well. They, yeah, the children make you. Yeah. So that's what I love about children. It's my responsibility. Right. It's like, it's my responsibility. Everything about my child or my children. I love them so much, you know, all of them. You know, and they love each other because I was raised this way. So it's like, and also, I'm a product of my environment because, you know, growing up certain way, you just have this way. But then when you get older, you realize, you know, Maybe it's time to like be like Ziggy <laughs> or Sadella, you know, where you just kind of settle down right. and, and live life where you don't have to worry about things. And because it's a, it's, it's a manageable thing, but it's, you shouldn't have to manage life. So I want to live a life full of trust and that's peaceful <laughs> where my woman can take my phone and do whatever. whatever. I don't want to worry about those things again. Like, yeah. like, cause as strong as you are, right? There's a woman, there's a woman that's stronger than you. <laughs> right. 
So it's so and so. And you that's just the key point. He said, where the woman can take the phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. She because it's too hard. I can't do it. No, but you know, and it's not necessarily is, it's stressful. It's, it's stressful. not necessarily the thing, it. but you don't want to lay. Like, but it's just like you get to focus on other things, man. And, and, and most people who cheat is broke too. You know that? Yeah. Uh, like they broke because like they they spend all their time cheating. I hear you. Like trying not to I, get I caught. I can't. I can't. I, look. I can't fuck with. I can't call myself innocent. Like I've never been right, a bad right, guy. Yeah. In people's Bond eyes, mind. I thought I was just being cool. So. <laughs> it's growth. It's growth. We all yeah, mature. We all, we we all, all grow, grow and all grow. mature. But let me ask you because yeah. we talked about Warren Sapp. Yeah. We talked about Ray Lewis. Yeah. What yeah. we didn't talk about was you at the UM. You played at the with UN? Dwayne Oh, Wade. UM, UM, UM. The UM. Rock. Yeah, Dewey. Oh, you play with The Rock? Well, excuse me? Dewey. Uh, uh, uh. We call him Dewey at that time. Sorry, but he's The Rock, but... So you mean I can walk up to The Rock and be like, Yo, Dewey? I don't well, think you can do it the, now. What was that season? I'm what, not sure you can do it record? now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can. No, but hold up. I think you guys had a record season, right? Yeah, we always do. You know, in my college career, I think I've lost three games in my entire career. We won 58 games straight at home. Ooh. Yeah, I've never... <laughs> I've never played on a team that was ranked less than number three in the country. So, so you and The Rock? Yeah, The Rock played with us, yes. We, and we played with The Rock as well. Meaning, like, you know. The person. The, <laughs> on the football field, like, we're right, right. friends, we're uh, UM family. That's dope. Yeah, we played Did again. Anybody else we're not naming? Because how the fuck you play with Warren Sapp? And, and mind you, and mind you, and fucking but wait, 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 but they kind of play with me though. They're like they, they play with you. They, they play with you. I'm the motherfucking. Like, like when I was there, I'm the leader. You can, when I'm there, I'm leading that team. Like who? Could, so they play with me. When who you act, predict you, when, this, though? when you talk to Sap, yeah, I played the Rohan. <laughs> like, yeah, he did. When you talk to, Rick, no, I'm kidding. I'm just. Being, but but yeah. listen, Rohan, this is what I'm trying to say. Right, who right. could predict? You know what happened to me? You know how I learned the game. I came here when they expelled me from school in Jamaica because, you know, just a, just didn't, I didn't like the school, I didn't like the people, but I, it's whatever happened. They expelled me. So when I came here, I was going to a school down there in Pinecrest, Pinecrest Elementary, and it was 1984, and it's during the time when the Miami Dolphins were, like, very good with Dan Marino. He, Dan Marino was killing the that, game. Like, if you... Nori, if you ever ask me about like who are my favorite people, like the Miami Dolphins, Dan Marino was one of my favorite guys growing up. That era in the 80s? That, yeah. So at the school, they would play Miami Dolphins, Miami Dolphins, Miami yeah. Dolphins, number one. So I started loving the game. And um, during the time, they were trying to like, they seized my father's asset because they were trying to sell his rights, right? It's published in. Oh, no, who he was trying to do that? Well, the, the trust in Jamaica because my dad never left a will. So it, got, it was crazy. Right. So because of that, they tried and to sell And he never all, had a trust. He never had a will. Well, he had a trust, but the trust wanted to sell all his assets because they no longer wanted to manage the assets. But that was just them trying to wow. destroy another man, you know, liquidate all his assets. So Chris Blackwell, just a short story, Chris Blackwell ended up lending the family the money. We the children, not the, just us, because just us. It's Mama Rita and all the kids. So we got, we borrowed the money and we bought our dad's rights. So we own everything. That's when we end up owning our father's rights. Wow. So that's that. Wow. So now coming to America during that time, the, with the court system. That's a movie coming to America. You coming to America. Real yeah. Okay, get it's a good reference because I like, I like that, that movie. That. Court that but but it's a like reference because it is you. It's a good you. reference because it's coming it is. to America. I am a king. I am a king. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, the king is a moon. Let me tell you about this king though. So this king came to America during that time, and when they seized all my father's assets and everything, Crazy. I remember them talking about selling my granny's house that we were living in, and being that I was one of Bob's child living in the house, I, w I was able to put a pause on the sale to kind of like jurisdiction rights. But also I remember living off of my dad's social security check, <laughs> $99 a month. Here in America. Is American Social Security? Yeah. Wow. Because, yeah, my dad has an American Social Security check. Can you remember he worked in Delaware for no, some time? I didn't know that. Well, yeah, he did. He was like, a, he worked on a forklift, worked with the DuPont family, these type of people. Wow. And such and such. Well, my granny worked with them. He worked for like Chevy or whatever companies there. So anyway, I ended up coming here during that time because my family didn't have no money. My brothers would come to Miami 
and kind of help out with the bills. Mama Rita would help out with the bills because everything was seized up. So we were able to borrow some money from Chris Blackwell to buy our father's rights. And during this time, I wanted to like not pressure the family. So I ended up learning to play football and got a scholarship. So I didn't have to bother my family about going to college. And you know, being that I was a failure, I just showed these motherfuckers that I'm gonna go to fucking UM, right. you bastards that hated me so much because I came from Spanish town and I was Bob's child and I was supposed to be a failure. So I had to do that. So I had to prove these fuckers wrong and go to UM, <laughs> crazy. And play ball at UM, and then that's kind of my way, you know? And that's how I got into football. I got a scholarship. So just to recap a lot of this, though, this is the time period that the Marley name is not making money because it's being, like, consumed everything by is seized. this. And there's all the, all the bootleggers. Everything is seized up. Everybody running around. So we had to get everything under control. And it took a long, long time. And Chris Blackwell, if I'm not wrong, the same dude that owned the Marlin Hotel, right? No. They had the studio there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I yeah, used to that. do a lot of stuff there, yeah, so yeah, I always yeah, used to see his name the all Chelsea, the time. Yeah. Marlin. He owns like Golden, Golden, uh, Golden Beach in Jamaica. I forget the name of that place. Uh, Bond, where James Bond did some stuff. Right, right. In Jamaica. And Strawberry Hills, where my dad went Strawberry after Hill. the... Yeah, my dad went there after the assassination attempt. He went to Strawberry Hills. So yeah, Chris Blackwell, good man. You know, he helped us out. He looked out for us. I mean, it's the only person. And another story uh-huh. with Michael Jackson. So this is the human side of Michael with Jackson. Michael Jackson, okay. Wait, this is Michael the human Jackson. side. So we needed the money as a family. MCA wanted to buy my dad's rights. Right. Sony, Japan wanted to buy my father's rights. We asked Michael Jackson for some money. Michael Jackson wanted to buy my father's right. Yeah, because he bought the Beatles. Yeah, he didn't. So he never loaned us the money. So Mike wanted to buy the rights. He never loaned us the money. But Chris Blackwell, who was a good guy, he loaned us the money. Oh, so you're saying a human that wasn't such a great aspect No, a human. No, of it's, humanity. A, it's an entrepreneur. No, the was, entrepreneur yeah, yeah, side yeah, yeah. of him. The human side. Yeah, that human being side where you got to pay your bills side. But take, Chris Blackwell loaned you the money where, where Michael loaned. wanted to buy the rights. Absolutely. And you guys were not interested in selling the rights. So I remember one of the offer, I think it was like 1991, it was like $20 million. So one of my thing was because I, everyone has to sign, all the children, everyone, all the children we have to sign. And How many of, children is this? Um, 11 of us. Okay. 11. Yeah, yeah 11 of us or 10 of us that have a signing rights. So we all have to sign. So my thing was, well, shit, if it's worth 20 million to them, what do you think it's worth to us? Exactly. Wow. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm cool. like, shit. I mean, wow, you, woo, that's nice. Well, we're talking about, it's it worth a trillion dollars to us, my man. What do you think about that? Yeah, no. Like, can you bargain that? Let's, let's, let's start there, you know? Let's, come on, come up with a trillion so we can make some change, real change. So that's how we thought about it. So I remember even then, because as a youth, right, you get this option as a Marley boy or a Marley child. From what was sold and what the money that was loaned because you borrowed it, when you become 18 years old, you get a million dollars, right? And I remember being at University of Miami. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. So when you guys become, any Marty child becomes 18 years old, you get a million dollars. Right, okay. because of because of what they sold with the trust that, it, right, right, that right. was there. So we had to like borrow that money and, you know, wait, you get it, but you owe it kind of thing. Oh, it's a loan. It's, I, I'm going to tell you about it. You, I don't know what it is, but I don't even know what it is. But I'm going to tell you how it worked out. <laughs> so anyway, when I was in college, I remember the lawyers coming to my, my school and you, they're telling me, hey, you're 18 years old now. Um, what's your decision, you know? I said, what, what decision I got to make? You can sign here and own, because of the loan that we took, the $12 million loan, we have to pay that loan back. So my million dollars needs, either it's going to go back to paying that loan, or, or become I take another my, part of the loan. Because now it's becoming our, we're owning this company. We're, right. we're borrowing money to own our dads like any other people. Right. We're borrowing money so to own. So you're borrowing against that. Yeah. So now I get the million dollars. Or do I take a million dollars and go live on the beach in Jamaica, 
by the mansion do all the great things I can do in life and be set forever in my life let's do it or <laughs> do I take $36,000 and carry on <laughs> so if the, the choice is the million dollars will go back you will own you're a part of this company that owns all your dad's rights right which is a like all the family we own that or we take your million dollars and really cash out right so I, the lawyer was like, hey, well, you know these motherfuckers, man. Because the lawyer, right, the bigger the pot, the more he makes, right? What do you care about me? You know what I'm saying? So he wants like, you to get the bigger amount so he yeah, can get the he commission. Yeah, because he a bigger percentage. Yeah, because it's the bigger the pot, the more fame. If I give him, if I take the 30, he's not going to be happy. If I get the milli and go, he take whatever he take <laughs> out there and I'll be rich forever right. with a million dollars in 1992. <laughs> So I ask these million. motherfuckers, I say to these these asshole lawyers, these people that work for people that act like they own you, I say, let me ask you something. What did my brothers and sisters do? My older brothers, remember we talked about age? What did Ziggy and Sedella do and Steven? What did they do? Oh, uh, uh, they took the 30,000. I said, where do I sign? Give me the fucking thirty thousand dollars and get the fuck out. I didn't say all that part. I'm right. adding that. If it was a movie, I'd say it like that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I took I chose to to give back the million dollars and just live off of that thirty thousand dollars for a little bit and get the thirty thousand sounds like interest accrued. Thirty thousand dollars was because it was like you you owed each party to pay back the loan is like $970,000 of such and such. So of the $12 million that we borrowed from Chris Blackwell. That's the loan that you're paying back. We're paying the loan back to Chris Blackwell. Right. So that money, when we get it, we got to, because that's right. what we bought. That's the asset. Wow. So that's the asset that's giving us this million dollars again. Right, right. So we're taking that, you know? So even though we bought it, it's Great. still, yeah, so we have to pay that shit back. So we, we the family, the children, we, we, keep our dad's rights and up until since 1981 it's been us at the hound so everything you see Bob Marley has been us the children doing it and big up to my brother Ziggy Sedella my big sister Sedella for holding it down you know all these years Mama Rita like treating us all like her own children like even though we're not she's not my biological mother but I call her oh she's not? no my mother's name is Janet Hunt okay a nice little lady that make nice food, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, big up to Janet. Nobody knows her, but she's a nice lady. She loves to cook. <laughs> that was one of the things. Is I feel like Bob Marley is probably one of the most bootlegged person ever. Like, everywhere yeah. you go, you see a Bob Marley t-shirt. You see, Man. are you telling me that, you, that for the most part, the family gets... Um, the residual the estate, the estate. Yeah, well, the estate. Um, who owns the estate? Is it you guys? Yeah. Okay. The chi- we the children. So if I'm in Jamaica so, and I buy Bob Marley, when you said the trust, trust and there. all that, the no, trust, no, 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 that no longer exists. Remember, okay. we the trust dissolved and they sold all their assets okay. and we had okay. to buy it back. So we, yeah, we are in control. Oh wow. So the things that, but well, obviously there's still bootleg people out there, but the things that you see, we have our family seal there. And you can see that it's ours. So like, for instance, Marley Coffee is a family business. House of Marley is a family business. Zion Rooter is a family business. The Rome Marley Beach House, it's my thing, but I'm smart enough to make that a family business, you dig? Yes. Because, you know, I'm nothing without my family. So is that a dispersed thing to the family? What is? Like business, like the, the, the financials. Do you disperse? Yeah, 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 because we're, we're, the, we're the directors of the company. So you, you keep everybody included? Uh, yeah, all the family members are part of the business. What you said, it's smart. Like, it's yeah. smart to keep everything in the family. Yeah, it's family business. It's a, you know, so things that you see, we, we are the operators of our family business. Good. You know, and then Sister Sedella, Brother Ziggy, you have to big them up because they manage all these things. And we work with CAA, you know, that company. They're, they're pretty good at managing the IP. So some of these new entities that we're creating, like, you know, Marley Coffee is one of them. So Marley. they manage that. Marley Coffee. That's my baby. Y'all is going to hear that ringing in your ear. Some coffee. I've been a, a well, this is drink champs. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we drink coffee too. No, I got well, address. Does. I'm gonna send you my address. I want. I got you. You 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 will have coffee for the rest of your life, yeah. both of you. Yes. Well, 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 hold on. Cut. 
I'm gonna give you coffee when I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the rest of our lives. When I can, when I can, when I can. Listen, that's, big that's, up to that, Monica. That, that's, that's the London. Big up to Monica. Monica. Yeah. That's the London Jamaican right there. He can speak. He can speak to you in Jamaican. Mate, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Londonese. Oh, he can, what he, part of London, mate? Like 20 years ago, I was with the Bank of American Pirates. Wow. So I was a bank teller over there. Not bad. I was a personal banker. Yeah. Only and black guy there. You can't. Right, right, there. right in the corner, right? Oh, yeah. Right in the corner. Yeah, I remember coming yeah, yeah. in and seeing you. Uh, how how was I as a human being? Was I a nice guy? No, he yeah. said. He always said. He always said. Oh, one, say. two, three. I tried, oh. Oh. oh, the cool that's, that's my dog. Tried, yo, that's my dog. Because you know why? I have to live up to this thing, man. And I'm telling you. It's tougher than you think. Right. The thing you talk, it's not a burden for my dad. It's my brothers and sisters, man. Right. Like, that's why I told you about the burden. No, but it's see, them. It's like, it. it's them. It's like even playing football, I was like, I can't see my, I, I can't let my brother see me get knocked on my back. Right. Like, I can't, like, what the fuck happened out there? Right. Like, who that, who's that guy? <laughs> like, right. yeah. like, I can't, I gotta like, I can't let them see me. They can't see me weak. <laughs> they can't see right. me. They can't see me defeated. You dig? Mm. So that's like that's who I have to be. My standards are to my my brothers and sisters. Is like Five. that. Yeah, and Mama Rita. Like they hold it down. They hold the mantle. So I got to like uphold that. Like I really like when I, when I do things in my mind. Like even here, me drinking on your yeah. your damn drink champs. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get in trouble later. Yeah, no, no. Got my brother you. Ziggy just talking about this shit. <laughs> yeah, but man. You can't be drinking. Bloody Marys in the morning. I'm like, uh, it's a morning drink, sir. Like, <laughs> like morning. so, so, oh, bro. <laughs> that was one of my last questions. I don't know no, where you're gonna go. You, you, you. Can I just I'm gonna say this real quick. Go ahead. Man, might be and, the same um, question. How many times do you get mistaken for your brothers? Oh no, nah, oh gosh, man, all the time. All my life, but it's cool because it's what we are. But so when they come up to you, we're like, damn, no, you know, they're yeah. like, hey, Marley. <laughs> they, it's like Ziggy. I, okay, when I did, <laughs> I, I, was, I was doing this thing for Marley Coffee. Okay. So there was a line <laughs> around, uh, there's a line around the building. Right. I just remember hearing, uh, who's he again? Is that Ziggy? What? I just, but I was like, you know, no, I'm Rohan. Right. I'm Marley Coffee guy. Right. The f- farmer. Right. You know, I have a coffee story. Yeah. But it's cool. Right. Because that's just what it is, you dig. That's and great. like it's like even being in Paris, right? Right. And they were doing this red carpet thing for the movie. I'm walking, Ziggy, Ziggy. I'm like, no, Ziggy's coming, man. <laughs> like, I don't sign I'm like, no, man, Ziggy's coming, man. I'm going inside. Like, so it's cool though, but uh, I'm not Ziggy and Steve and Damon right. Julian and Kimani and Robert, you know, I'm Rohan. So I'm gonna let you know I'm no, I'm Rohan. Or no, no Ziggy soon come. You know what I mean? But it's nice. Right. It's Irish because I rep, we're all the same people. And you all look alike though. It's just like, <laughs> I, I, if I was this would be racist if I was white. But I'm black. So <laughs> you can still be racist. You can still, still be racist, racist, bro. You can still oh, be racist. You're look alike. I don't know. I think your father got some great fucking. I think you're hella racist genes. right now, bro. Yeah, I am. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But y'all do look alike in a great way. That's that's greatness. Yeah, it's true. The family of God. It's the, it's the energy. Yeah. You know, Hello, he spoke. He said, "It's true." <laughs> yeah, because you know we all think that we think alike. We're seven brothers, seven different minds. But our aim is Haile Selassie the first, Rastafari. I. Oh. And like, you hear my brother Ziggy talk about being good humans, you know? So we all aspire to be good people, good humans. And so we kind of judge each other. I don't, we don't judge like that, but we kind of rub off on each other in a way where we act like each other because we like how each other flex. We like how each other do. So we're like each other just because our way of life. And even our big sisters like Sidella and Sharon, we, we like them because they're great mothers and mm. they're great teachers, they're great leaders, they're great CEOs, mm. they're great operators. So we respect that and we respect just nature. And we know that in human nature, it's kings and queens. So we're of the kings and the, the women's of the queen. So we honor the woman as queen as they are and we walk as the kings that we are. God damn it. Damn. That was your mate. Let me just say... We couldn't have ended this a better way. We really, Pardon. really respect you, your legacy, your family, everybody. So, er, er, everything that comes with it, man. You know, we want to give you your flowers. You deserve your flowers. 
You earned your flowers. You are your own legend in your own right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And, and we wanted to sh- share that in front of everybody, in front of the public. Because... <laughs> It's real shit, man. Thank Continue you for sharing with great. us. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go go hang out at your hotel. I'm gonna be honest. Can I smoke? <laughs> no, not in the room. On the, the weekends. The on the weekends. Oh, you got balconies, right? <laughs> Pardon. I'm gonna fuck up your balcony. You all can, the white people. You know, uh, Twitch is on. Yeah. And just like anywhere else, yeah. we're responsible for our actions yeah. and. We do as we see fit, as how we see life. So if we want to burn, we know how to burn, where we want to burn. And burn. Yeah, we respect yeah, the burn. burn. Know how to burn, bro. Hey. <laughs> you gotta know how to I burn. I'll be seeing you in Hawaii. You, you different. Yeah. You saw but me by in the way, my, oh, mind, you, you, my you, brother, yeah. I couldn't forget this. Okay. But I, brought, I did bring two Ooh, items for my brother. Okay. Holy and shit. These are items that I produce and create. Wow. And this is my lion line, order. Lion, lion order. And I hopefully, Ooh, these are, this oh, is for the, the household. Wow. Nice gold. So this is inspired Ooh, by, this is off the chain. This is inspired. better than Hermes right here. Yeah, Ooh. absolutely. I you decide, I, mean? I do things the right way. That's a rock crystal that we're using right there. And I've wow. created that with oh, look at finest that. of finest. We gotta get it. Yeah. So this we gotta is, get the joint. yeah, so this is lion order stuff, you know what I mean? That's lion my movement, order. lion order, and we believe in Good quality things. Here I got my little tray, which is made from not ceramic but porcelain. I believe in good quality things. So yeah, I got a lot of class. The class is first. Yes. Yo. Yeah, because why not? We're kings, you know? That's right. So we deserve to live as kings and be as clean as possible and try to do the things in the right way. Mm. God damn it. So we, we, we want to live as kings as we are. And that's why we say lion order, non denomination, because Rastafari is truly that, because the Ras means head and the Tafari means the creator, the one being. So we're in charge of self. And that's what we know from the lion. The lion is always a lion every single day. He wakes up a lion, goes to sleep a lion, is never not a lion. Right. So we represent the lion order movement. So that's lion order. Mm. And my brother. Take the picture. Let's take a picture. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> that was so.